Chapter 2441 Golden Scale Blue Eye Eagle Translator Born to be I wonder if you dare to go see the Life Spirit God, sneered La Wei. The Life Spirit God will instantly see through your intentions. So, are you going? La Wei still didn't trust Long Chen. Either he thought he was still an enemy, or he was jealous. Chi Li glared at him, but La Wei ignored it. Everyone else also wanted to see how Long Chen would respond. Long Chen took out a small compass, which had a small needle quivering slightly. Long Chen pressed a button on the edge, causing the needle to move in a new direction. After a few more pushes, Long Chen shook his head. This was something that Guo Ran had made in order to sense the position of the dragon blood warriors from a great distance. Due to the dragon blood flowing within their veins, Guo Ran and Xia Chen were able to make this compass capable of sensing their positions. The compass had pointed in multiple directions indicating that there were groups of dragon blood warriors in every direction, but the color was still a faint orange, indicating that they were extremely far, about as far as the eastern wasteland was from the western desert. On the Martial Heaven continent, that distance wasn't too immense, but in the Starfield Divine World, it was unknown just how many dangerous areas separated them. What are you hesitating for? Are you afraid? It seems that you are really scheming something against our Luo spirit race La Wei's rambling came to a sudden stop. In the instant that Long Chen glanced at him, he felt like a wild beast was glaring at him. His whole body stiffened, and an overwhelming sensation of death made him unable to move. Shut your mouth. If it wasn't for Chi Li, you would be a corpse right now. If I wanted to kill you, not even your leader would be able to protect you, said Long Chen frostily. In that instant, his killing intent was unleashed. However, this person was Chi Li's fiancé, and there had been a slight misunderstanding between them. So Long Chen was willing to let some things go. But he had pushed Long Chen too far. La Wei, you brainless fool. Keep your mouth shut. How was I so blind as to fall for you? Cursed Chi Li furiously. Long Chen, do you wish to see the life spirit god? Asked the race leader. Is it very far? If you ride the cloud-soaring falcon, you should arrive after one day and night of travel. Then yes, I would like to see them. Long Chen nodded. One day and night was an acceptable amount of time. If he really could get a good map, it would be worth it. Without a map, just blindly stumbling around might end with him running into something like the Thorn Devil race again or something even stronger. Other than just wasting time, it could be dangerous. La Wei shut his mouth. Chi Li snorted and walked over to Long Chen. To the race leader, she said. Father, let me guide Long Chen to the life spirit god. The race leader nodded. You can accompany Long Chen. La Wei, you will be accompanying them as well. It is very far, so look after them. But he started Chi Li. This is an order, said the race leader coldly. Chi Li sniffed and pulled Long Chen away to the rear mountains. Seeing her holding Long Chen's hand, La Wei ground his teeth. The race leader suddenly kicked him in the butt, sending him flying over there. Fool, if you don't follow, your wife is going to be taken. La Wei quickly caught up. At the rear mountains, Long Chen saw an ancient forest thrumming with vitality. It was an extremely peaceful life energy. There was a giant falcon waiting for them inside. It flew over to Chile and cried out happily. The cloud-soaring falcon is one of our protective spirit beasts. We're very close to them. The cloud soaring falcon is extremely fast, and even stronger beasts can't catch up to us, explained Chi Li, patting the falcon. Isn't this forest your territory? Why would you encounter stronger beasts? asked Long Chen. This forest is too big. It's not occupied by just us. You'll understand later, said Chi Li. The two of them jumped onto the falcon's back. At that moment, La Wei caught up and he also jumped on. Chi Li didn't even glance at him. She and Long Chen stood on the falcon's head. It let out a cry and soared into the air. La Wei sat by himself on the falcon's back, glaring furiously at the two of them. How is it? Isn't the cloud-soaring falcon fast? Asked La Wei, unable to hold back. Long Chen curled his lips. This cloud-soaring falcon seemed to be on par with a mid-twelfth tier magical beast. Its speed was truly not bad for that level, but it was a far cry from Cloud's speed. If the two of them were side by side, with a spread of her wings, 
The cloud-soaring eagle would only be able to see her tail for an instant before she vanished from sight, let alone cloud, even compared to Long Chen. As long as he summoned his lightning wings, he could throw it into the distance. This level of speed was nothing extraordinary to him. Ignore him. He's infuriating, said Chi Li irritably. Long Chen shook his head. Actually, I'm quite envious of the two of you. Envious of us? What is there to be envious of? Asked Chi Li curiously. I'm envious of how young and carefree you are. You can still have fights and arguments. I can't. My wives and I don't even have time to fight. We don't even have time to talk, said Long Chen somewhat bitterly. In the past, Tang Wan'er had often liked to be petty and cause some trouble for him so that he would pay attention to her. But now, all of them were racing against time in order to survive. Nowadays, he felt that having Tang Wan'er tease him a bit was an enormous luxury. He is simply a fool, and an infuriating one at that, said Chi Li, vexed. He's foolish because he cares. I would be even more of a fool than him. His mind goes out the window only because he loves you. If he could stay calm over such a matter, it would mean he didn't care about you. You should be grateful, said Long Chen lightly. Really Chi Li glanced back at the gloomy Law Wei. I've been around the block for a few years. I can tell that it is because he truly loves you. That's why I let him insult me. Otherwise, I'd have slapped his face into a pig's head said Long Chen. Chi Li smiled, amused by his way of speaking. However, at that instant, the sky darkened. The cloud-soaring falcon let out a sharp cry and dove from the sky and into the forest. It's a golden-scale blue-eye eagle, shouted La Wei, his voice trembling slightly. I told you that this fellow would bring us misfortune after falling from that cursed ship. We actually encountered a fully matured golden-scale blue-eye eagle. We're dead. A giant golden eagle descended from the sky. Its feathers were covered in scale-like patterns, and its aura was comparable to a peak 12th rank magical beast. We're not a match for it. Its target is the cloud-soaring falcon, so we'll split up and pounce on it while the cloud-soaring falcon draws its attention. Its weak points are its eyes, the bottom of its beak, its abdomen, and Long Chen, what are you doing? Chi Li was in the midst of coming up with a battle plan when Long Chen shot into the sky straight at the eagle. Suddenly, a square object was flung out by Long Chen. It rapidly grew larger until it was the same size as the eagle and struck it head on. The golden scale blue eye eagle fell to the ground, smashing a giant hole in it. A wave of earth covered the giant trees. Chi Li and La Wei were both dumbfounded. The golden scale blue eye eagle was a terrifying beast whose speed was even greater than the cloud soaring falcon. Such a terrifying monster was something only their race leader possessed the power to defeat. Their best option would have been to think of a way to somehow get away from it. However, if they ran, then they would have to sacrifice the cloud soaring falcon. Chi Li was unwilling to do that, so she wanted to take the risk of fighting for a bit. But even then, she was aware that their chances of victory were extremely remote. Their arrows were unable to pierce its defenses. Now, they saw Long Chen crush it with one attack. La Wei's jaw dropped. He was filled with disbelief. The giant cyan brick vanished. The earth shook a few times as the giant eagle struggled out of the earth. It let out a heaven-shaking cry. It's not dead. Chi Li and La Wei's expressions changed and they hastily retreated. Chapter 2442 Towering Tree Translator Born to be the two of them dove into the forest, as that was the only way to keep themselves alive. However, they suddenly found that the golden scale blue eye eagle wasn't attacking after struggling out of the ground. It was just standing there. Long Chen walked over to it, and it crouched down, allowing him to walk onto its back. La Wei and Chi Li couldn't believe their eyes. Long Chen beckoned. Let's switch to a new mound. You can have the cloud soaring falcon return. Chi Li and La Wei slowly walked over. Chi Li nervously asked. Did you subdue it? Come on up. It'll be a bit faster. Said Long Chen. Chi Li had to first run over to the cloud soaring falcon because it didn't dare to get close to the golden scale blue eye eagle. She told it to go back. After that, all three of them stood on the golden scale blue eye eagle's back and it took off, transforming into a streak of light shooting through the air. It was much faster than the cloud-soaring falcon. This golden-scale blue-eye eagle was powerful, 
but its spiritual strength was not strong. After being knocked unconscious, Long Chen had directly placed a slave seal on it. Chi Li was amazed by Long Chen's power, and her praise made La Wei upset. However, he had now witnessed Long Chen's power, and like a beaten rooster, he was silent. Chi Li, you should go to the front and direct it so that it doesn't fly off in the wrong direction, said Long Chen. Chi Li ran over to its head, pointing. Her excitement was like that of a child who had just obtained a new toy to play with. Now, only Long Chen and La Wei were left on the back of the eagle. Long Chen looked at the dispirited La Wei and shook his head. You really are a coward. You're going to surrender just like this. I can't beat you. And I'm not a white-faced if you call me that again. I'll slap you. Raged Long Chen. You see the woman you love being stolen by someone else. And you're not going to fight for her? If someone dared to do that to one of my wives, I'd throw my life away to stop them. But you don't even have the courage to do that. Are you a coward? La Wei glared at Long Chen but then deflated. He wished he could fight Long Chen, but he couldn't even muster the slightest will to do so after seeing him fight. Coward. If I were such a coward, my wives would have slapped me into the wall, said Long Chen disdainfully. You. You get hit by your wives, asked La Wei surprised. So what? All of my wives have stronger arms than me. Their punches can shatter mountains and their feet can tear the earth asunder. Do you know why? Asked Long Chen. No. La Wei shook his head. It's from beating me all day. When they beat me, I'm even encouraging them. If I dared to misunderstand their intentions like you have with Chi Li, well, let me tell you that if you were in that position, you would regret being born in this world. You would learn what a life worse than death is, sighed Long Chen. If your wives are so terrifying, why not leave them? Asked La Wei. This fellow's head clearly wasn't too agile. He actually believed Long Chen. Leave? Then how am I supposed to get stronger? Their beatings can temper my flesh, refine my bones, strengthen my internal organs, stabbing the soul, burning in oil. Well, it sounds frightening, but it's all beneficial to me said Long Chen. His grateful expression scared La Wei. Chi Li is a lot gentler than your wives. La Wei was terrified at the thought of Long Chen's fiendish devil wives. Chi Li really is a nice girl. Long Chen looked toward Chi Li's back, causing La Wei's heart to tense. However, I don't have that blessing. So, little fellow, I suppose a fool like you has a fool's luck to have such a good partner. You should cherish her. Her heart has yet to change but your suspicions toward her are a blasphemy toward her pure emotions. Go and apologize, said Long Chen. While Long Chen had previously had an urge to slap La Wei, he decided not to take the foolish oath personally. However, La Wei hesitated. How am I supposed to apologize so that she forgives me? You could castrate yourself to show your loyalty, suggested Long Chen solemnly. Ah, La Wei almost jumped off the eagle causing Long Chen to have to grab him. Long Chen almost laughed. This fellow was really simple. If a woman is angry and scolds you, it shows that she's not really angry. If she was really angry, she wouldn't even bother scolding you. At that time, if you tried to apologize, she wouldn't immediately forgive you. But if you don't apologize, she will never forgive you. You should prepare yourself for a long battle. Time will be your best weapon. In any case, as long as you apologize, her anger will fade over time, said Long Chen. It was unknown if La Wei had fully comprehended his words or not, but he slowly walked over to Chi Li. As soon as he arrived beside her, Li Qi's excited expression from directing the golden scale blue eye eagle vanished and was replaced with iciness. She turned back to see Long Chen seated in meditation. Despite being unfamiliar with the martial heaven continent's cultivation techniques, she knew that he didn't want to be disturbed at this moment. She could only sit there and listen to La Wei's apology. Long Chen was circulating his life energy. Under the pressure of his death energy, his life energy had been compressed to just 10% of his life and death energy. He needed to keep it active and vigorous, or it would start to solidify. If that happened, it would be more difficult to activate his life energy in the future let alone actually elevate his life energy to the point of being able to balance with his death energy. 
the four grand elders of the martial heaven continent were unable to use medicinal pills to break out of their current predicament because if they did try to activate their remaining life energy, it might create a chance for their death energy to break through and kill them. If they had not been stuck in the death realm for so long, it would have been possible to use medicinal pills to balance their life and death energy, allowing them to reach the fourth step. But due to their life energy having been stagnant for so long, they no longer possessed the ability to circulate it without their death energy potentially taking over. Not only did this represent that they were weaker than death realm experts in their peak, but they would never be able to advance again in their lifetimes. This was the most painful thing to a cultivator, which was why Kujining had warned everyone to think it over when she had distributed the barrier breaking pills Novaloon.com. Long Chen's death energy had reached a powerful state. So Long Chen needed to constantly circulate his life energy to keep it lively. He also slowly absorbed the world's life energy to invigorate his body. As he cultivated, Long Chen had a faint smile. Upon absorbing the outside world's life energy, his astral spaces resonated and their life energy also circulated within his body. With those two sources of life energy, his life energy was not in danger of being overwhelmed. Long Chen had an extra layer of protection compared to other people. This forest was abundant in life energy. It was the perfect place for him to cultivate. For most people, they would need to take some time to adjust and stabilize their life energy and their death energy. But Long Chen had no need to do so. That was because the primal chaos space possessed its own life and death energy. Long Chen had been familiar with that kind of energy from the start. So he didn't need to get used to it. Upon reaching the third step, he directly began activating his life energy in preparation for advancing to the fourth step. The fourth step of Nether Passage was to balance one's life and death energy once more. This was a slow process. He would need to slowly absorb energy. Chi Li coldly directed the golden scale blue eye eagle, while La Wei was sitting beside her miserably. He was silent, not even daring to let out a fart. They quickly flew through the forest. There were other fierce beasts, but they all fled upon sensing the golden scale blue eye eagle's aura. Chi Li's excited expression slowly came back. Ahead of them, the ancient trees grew even more majestic, and they were thriving with life energy. Long Chen eventually saw one particularly giant tree, which soared into the sky. The star seemed to hang amongst its branches. Long Chen, we've arrived. This is our life spirit god, announced Chi Li. She jumped off, kowtowing from the peak of a tree toward the giant tree, muttering some ancient scripture. Chapter 2443 Bone Tile Translator Born to be this aura, upon seeing the giant tree, Long Chen was shocked. Why was it that this tree had such a similar aura to the spirit world's life god tree? Chi Li and La Wei both piously kowtowed. The giant tree unleashed a gentle light from its leaves that illuminated the forest. A group of experts from the Luo spirit race came over. They wore slightly different clothes than Chi Li and the others. Upon seeing Long Chen, their expressions changed. Before they could say anything, the giant tree quivered ever so slightly, and a shocked expression came over them. This is Long Chen. He started Chi Li. An old man walked out of the crowd. The spirit god has ordered for this precious guest to be brought inside. He beckoned welcomingly. Long Chen nodded and followed them inside. The closer he got to the giant tree, the more familiar he felt it to be. Its aura was extremely similar to the spirit world's life god tree. The spirit world had been invaded, and the life god tree had been damaged. However, Long Chen had given it the life soil of his primal chaos space, so it should be mostly recovered by now. When Long Chen got closer, he saw countless experts of the Luo spirit race looking at him vigilantly. They were as numerous as ants. They had to be counted in the millions. Chi Li explained that their Luo spirit race was spread out, and the stronghold that they had been at was just one tiny branch. He was surprised. Now Long Chen understood why La Wei had previously said that he wouldn't dare to go see the life spirit god. There were countless experts here. If he really had bad intentions, he wouldn't be able to leave alive. There were at least thousands of experts on the same level as Chi Li's father here. Furthermore, there was a feeling of even greater pressure from the towering tree. Despite already being beneath the crown of the tree, 
It took them a full hour of going in a straight line before they arrived at its trunk. The bark had scale-like patterns. Life Chi invigorated Long Chen. More and more of the Luo spirit race's experts appeared. They jumped down from the branches. It seemed that they viewed its leaves as stairs. There's no need to cause such a huge disturbance. Right. Long Chen felt the pressure increase. More and more experts were gathering here. Chi Li and La Wei were also nervous. They had never witnessed something like this. They didn't know why bringing Long Chen over to see the life spirit god would shake the entire Luo spirit race. Those who could remain by the side of the life spirit god were all elite figures of the Luo spirit race. Chi Li's heart pounded hard. Someone like her was only qualified to spend half a month every year cultivating here. Only those with excellent talent or those who had made outstanding contributions were allowed to stay here longer. Every single person here could be said to have a higher status than her. Suddenly, an old man with a white beard slowly descended. Long Chen was startled to find a pair of emerald wings on his back. They looked like two giant leaves. The elder held a wooden staff, and although he was not large, he gave off a tranquil feeling. Greetings, great prophet. Every single member of the Luo spirit race fell to their knees. Chi Li and La Wei were startled and hastily knelt as well. This was a legendary figure that they had never seen before. This prophet was the emissary of the life spirit god, the one who gave them the god's decrees. He was the only one who could communicate with the life spirit god, and the strongest existence within the entire Luo spirit race. Someone above the Nether Passage realm, Long Chen's heart shook. He couldn't sense any aura coming off of this old man, but he could sense a majestic life energy that shook him deeply. Hello, expert from another world. Let me represent the entirety of the Luo spirit race in welcoming you. The old man solemnly bowed with his left hand holding his shoulder Novaloon.com Long Chen hastily said, I wouldn't dare to accept. This little one didn't manage to bring any gifts. Long Chen was unable to understand why someone as powerful as the prophet would be so respectful to him. You're too courteous. Your arrival is the greatest gift to the Luo spirit race. You are from the martial heaven continent. Correct asked the prophet. Yes. Long Chen's heart shook once more. How had he known? Was it because he was actually a prophet capable of seeing the future? No need to be surprised. There was once an expert who left behind something for us to give to you said the prophet. A bone tile appeared in his hand. The bone tile was around the size of a fist. It sparkled brightly like a gemstone, but it gave off a very frightening pressure. All the experts of the Luo spirit race involuntarily stepped back, turning pale. There were blood-colored marks flickering inside of the bone tile. It was like it was pulsing with demonic blood. Long Chen carefully received it. When he held it, he could clearly feel an immense slumbering power. Senior, have you gotten the wrong person? Asked Long Chen. How could someone have left this thing for him? The prophet smiled. As long as you came from the martial heaven continent, you are the right person. That senior from back then said that as long as someone from the martial heaven continent came here, we were to give this to you. Who was that person? Asked Long Chen. He was surprised to hear that this prophet was even calling them senior. The senior shook his head. It's unclear. This was told to me by the last generation prophet, who was told this by his predecessor and so on. No one knows the details. It's from so long ago. Long Chen was now deeply shaken. Was this left behind by someone who was also from the martial heaven continent? If so, then what power did they come from? Were they not afraid of this item ending up in the wrong person's hands? May I ask what this thing is used for? Probed Long Chen. The prophet shook his head. We were only in charge of passing it to you. As for the details, I apologize. As we really don't know, Long Chen could only put aside the bone tile for now. Senior, I wish to obtain a detailed map. Is that possible of course? The prophet waved his hand. A leaf fell from the tree, shrinking down until it was only the size of a coin. Press this against your head and use your soul to sense it. You will obtain the information. Long Chen pressed the leaf against his forehead. He instantly felt like he was flying. The higher he went, the more that he could see. He saw the tree crown he was beneath. He flew higher and higher until he saw the stronghold of the Luo spirit race that he had been in. He also saw the spatial crack and the end of the giant forest. 
On the other side was a barren desert. Then he saw the end of the desert. He found that he was on an island. There were many other islands nearby. As he saw further, he suddenly found that this world was like a jigsaw puzzle that had been smashed. Is it really as the Pildoyan said? This place was fragmented after an immense battle? If that's true, who could have done such a thing? Long Chen was stunned. This place was huge, far surpassing his imagination. He didn't know just how many times larger it was compared to the Martial Heaven continent. One fragmented world after another appeared in his mind. Many places were filled with crossing spatial cracks that were like gaping maws. What is that? Long Chen suddenly noticed a black river in the distance. It stopped this world from extending any further. It was as if someone had intentionally cut this place in two. It felt like there was more on the other side of the Black River, but he couldn't see anything past it. The Black River was so wide that he couldn't even begin to estimate how wide it was. The Starfield Divine World was formed of its own Starfield. In other words, it was formed of many worlds just like the Martial Heaven continent. No wonder it is so huge. The leaf fell from his head. It quickly withered, vanishing without a trace before it even touched the ground. Long Chen slowly opened his eyes. Many thanks. Senior Long Chen then turned to La Wei and pressed a finger against his forehead. La Wei, I have yet to give you anything from our chance encounter. I will transmit how to control the golden scale blue eye eagle slave mark to you. La Wei was shocked that Long Chen was passing it to him and not Chi Li. He quickly understood though. Senior, I still have things to do, so I'll leave for now. Many thanks for the map. Long Chen cupped his fists. However, Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. He took out the compass once more. It was dinging. One of the groups of the Dragonblood Legion was releasing a distress signal, and it was of the utmost urgency. Chapter 2444 Violent Lightning Devours the Heavens Translator Born to be Long Chen's heart thumped. Considering the distance, he knew that even at full speed, it would take six hours for him to reach the location of the distress signal. However, the map had shown him a giant spatial crack on the way, requiring him to go around it. That would add another two hours at least. This urgent distress signal meant that everything was hanging by a thread. There was no time. Great profit. My friends are in trouble. I must leave. Long Chen started off. Lightning wings appearing on his back. Where do you want to go? Perhaps I can use the power of the spirit god to send you on your way, said the prophet upon seeing his rush. Delighted, Long Chen spread his hand, causing his spiritual strength to condense into a translucent map. I want to go there, Long Chen pointed. He could only give a general location, as Guo Ran and Xia Chen had sacrificed some precision in order for the compass to sense even further. No problem, the prophet smiled. A leaf fell from the sky and enveloped Long Chen. He vanished. After Long Chen was gone, the prophet turned solemn. He shouted to the Luo spirit race's experts, gather everyone and prepare for battle. Our chance to reclaim the mother tree has finally arrived. The Luo spirit race's disciples let out a heaven-shaking cheer, a raging battle intent soaring out of them. The leaf on Long Chen's body crumbled, and he flew out, finding himself on top of a large mountain. Taking out the compass, he shot out in the direction it indicated. In just a few seconds, he heard rumbling ahead. After going around a final mountain, he saw tens of thousands of people fighting. A squad of the Dragonblood Warriors was currently leading the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples in a battle against the Ancient Family Alliance and the Corrupt Paths experts. The Dragonblood Warriors attempted to charge out of their encirclement with the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples, but they were unable to get through. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples were occasionally cut down one by one. Bastards. Come at me if you have the gods, roared one of the squad leaders of the Dragonblood Legion. Their enemies were intentionally avoiding the Dragonblood warriors to kill the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. They did their best to avoid fighting them directly. The Martial Heaven Alliance's side was at an instant disadvantage considering the numbers advantage their enemies had. In just the first clash, thousands of them had died. The first loss fractured their morale and the Dragonblood Warriors were unable to recover. Once the rest of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples were killed, the Dragonblood Warriors would be surrounded by a hundred thousand people and ground down. 
Ancient Family Alliance. You really have big gods. Just at this moment, a cold voice rang out that made the Ancient Family Alliance and the Corrupt Path's disciples feel like they had been dropped into an ice house. Its boss, the Dragonblood Warriors were all ecstatic to hear that voice. Endless Lightning Domain. Violent lightning devours the heavens. Long Chen clapped his hands together, and a sea of lightning spread throughout the battlefield, completely sealing it. This place became a lightning hell filled with the air of annihilation. Kill them all, shouted Long Chen. After setting up the lightning domain, he personally joined the fray with Evil Moon in hand. Run, Long Chen's here. The corrupt path and the ancient family alliance's experts began to flee. However, Long Chen's rage meant that they didn't have the slightest chance to escape. When they tried to flee through the lightning domain, they were annihilated. That wasn't enough to quench his fury. He was personally hacking them apart with his saber, with no one being able to stop him. If it was just the corrupt path attacking, he wouldn't be so furious. After all, they were fated enemies. Such a thing could not be avoided. However, the ancient family alliance had no excuse to attack them. Even if they were no longer allies, they should not be killing each other with the Dark Era descending. Long Chen's grievance was with Di Fang, and it was a personal one. He had not taken out his anger on the Ancient Family Alliance, but the Ancient Family Alliance had not just attacked the Martial Heaven Alliance now, they had even joined forces with the Corrupt Path. The biggest slap in Long Chen's face was that he had told his side not to take out their anger on the Ancient Family Alliance just because of him. As long as the other side didn't press them, then they shouldn't provoke them. As a result, it was the Ancient Family Alliance's people that first attacked them, and in an incredibly vicious manner without the slightest hint of mercy. This lightning domain had completely locked down this area. Lai Long was standing guard within it with tens of thousands of split bodies. No one could escape. As for Long Chen himself, he was like a tiger trapped with a group of sheep. Even screams of terror could not stop his blade. With Long Chen's addition to the battlefield, the ancient family alliance and the corrupt path's disciples were terrified out of their minds. With the arrival of a devil king, they sank into profound despair. They hadn't expected Long Chen to arrive so quickly. Their minds were blank, as they all knew that no one could save them. As for the Martial Heaven Alliance's side, they were reinvigorated and pounced on their enemies. No. Ah. Don't kill me. We're innocent. We had to listen to orders. I'll tell you what's happening. There are no matter what they said. The Ancient Family Alliance and the Corrupt Path's experts were cut down without hesitation. The Corrupt Path's experts crazily fought back but their fierce faces were a facade to cover up the terror in their hearts. With Long Chen present, the Dragonblood warriors were free to fight as they wished. Fighting for themselves, their enemies fell in swathes. As for the Ancient Family Alliance's experts, they weren't as bloody as the corrupt path. As they fought back, they pleaded for mercy. Idiots. Did you ever think about letting us off? Did you think about our families? Die. The only reply to their pleading was a butcher's blade filled with anger. The battlefield was in chaos now, with everyone trying to avoid Long Chen, but still being unable to escape. Some who were further away from him thought that they would be temporarily safe, only for a lightning arrow to pierce them from behind. The people fleeing had been killed, and no one else was trying. Lai Long had nothing else to do but to attack. It didn't want to injure any allies so it only attacked those who were close to the edges. Ha ha ha, what's so amazing about you, Long Chen? I really look down on you. Can you kill me twice? One of the ancient family alliance's disciples laughed crazily. It seemed that he had gone insane. Without any hope, he began to publicly provoke Long Chen. His laughter didn't manage to draw Long Chen's attention before he was killed by one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. You want to kill me? Keep dreaming. You'll never be able to achieve that in your lifetimes. I curse you all to die here. Another one of the Ancient Family Alliance's disciples suddenly chose to kill himself. The Ancient Family Alliance's disciples were the first to be eliminated. Now, only thousands of the corrupt experts were left. Although knowing that they were going to die, they wanted to drag down a few more of their enemies with them. In order to avoid unnecessary deaths. 
Long Chen ordered the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples to retreat to the edge of the Lightning Domain. The 500 Dragonblood Warriors were cleaning up the survivors. There was no suspense. The Dragonblood Warriors formed a killing formation and slaughtered them. The corrupt experts were unwilling to be killed for nothing, and they tried to charge past to the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. However, before they could reach them, they were killed by lightning arrows. In just a few breaths' time, the remaining corrupt experts were slaughtered. This battle ended without a single fish managing to escape the net. This battle had been extremely fierce, and the corrupt path experts in particular had been vicious. The Martial Heaven Alliance had lost 13,000 disciples. If Long Chen hadn't arrived in time, they would have been wiped out. Although the Dragonblood Warriors might have managed to band together in the end and charge out, as the leader of this group, having all their comrades be killed while they escaped by themselves would have been a stain that they would never be able to wash away. Even after victory, the Dragonblood Warriors weren't happy. They still felt immense hatred and guilt. Sorry, boss. We were suddenly attacked with no warning, said the leader of this group. They had been entrusted by Long Chen to protect everyone. Long Chen shook his head and patted the squad leader's shoulder comfortingly. It's not your fault. Long Chen turned back to the surviving disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. His gaze swept through them coldly. You can come out and kill yourself. I will protect your family in your stead. Chapter 2445 Spies Translator born to be what everyone present was startled. Did they really have spies amongst them? The Dragonblood Warriors came to a sudden understanding. No wonder this sudden attack had felt so strange. Even now, they didn't know how their enemies had managed to find them. The Dragonblood Warriors were closer than brothers, so they hadn't considered this possibility. Now everyone was filled with indignation. I'm sorry. I, Zhang Zhengfeng, can only use my death to apologize. Suddenly, one person walked out. Upon seeing him, quite a few people were shocked. Those people were rather familiar with him. Zhang Zhengfeng, you, you, how could you do this to your sect? What about senior apprentice sister Ling Shen's trust? One of his close friends pointed his sword at him, his eyes red. It was precisely due to how close they were that he was unable to accept this. Zhang Zhengfeng bitterly smiled. All those things are meaningless now. No excuse can make up for my sin he then suddenly knelt toward Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I entrust everything to you. Zhang Zhengfeng slammed his own head with his hand, and his body collapsed. He had shattered his soul. You fool. Why? The disciple who had pointed his sword at him openly wept. Zhang Zhengfeng was a man, but there are some who are really despicable. Long Chen suddenly pointed his finger. One person in the crowd twitched. Before he could say anything though, his head was pierced by a lightning arrow. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, another person tried to speak, but Long Chen snorted. Now it was too late. Another lightning arrow flew out, killing him. There were a total of four traitors. One of them was killed in the chaos. Of the remaining three, one could count as a man and admitted his sins. He can count as having atoned. Those who know them should gather their corpses for their families said Long Chen. Boss, what is going on? asked a dragonblood warrior. When I killed the ringleaders, I investigated a portion of their memories in their fragmented souls. So I knew about the traitors, but I can't blame them. Their families were being used as hostages to control them. If the person you cared the most had their life in someone else's hand, what would you choose? So this matter can end here. As for them, you can tell their families that they died in a battle between the righteous and corrupt paths. After all, in the eyes of their families, they are their pride. But for us, although we can sympathize, we cannot forgive them. Death is their best choice, said Long Chen helplessly. These traitors had caused thousands of deaths. But while they felt immense hatred for them, people were unable to fully blame them. If their positions were switched, what would they choose? Who did it? We have to avenge them, said someone hatefully. So many people had died. They had to extract a price from someone. Compared to these four traitors, the ones who had caused this were the ones extorting them. Based on their memories, I wasn't able to find out the entire truth. But it will be revealed soon, said Long Chen. Long Chen suspected that it was done by Di Fang. 
but there was no concrete proof. He didn't want to immediately accuse him, because he was sure that the truth would be revealed in just a short time. Clean up the battlefield. I want to be ready to move out again within half an incense stick's worth of time, ordered Long Chen. After giving orders, Long Chen took out the compass and began to search for other groups of Dragonblood warriors. He found three other groups that were getting closer. Most likely, they had rushed over upon receiving the distress signal. Boss, the first group quickly arrived with their original group of 50,000. They were delighted to see Long Chen but shocked to see the corpses. This group hadn't encountered any attacks yet. In fact, things had been going very smoothly. They had killed a Scarlet Blood Drake, allowing them to obtain quite a bit of dragon blood. That dragon blood was actually of a decent quality. It wasn't rejected by the evil dragon essence blood in their veins, and they believed that it was possible for them to refine it. However, they hadn't done that yet. They were waiting for Long Chen's approval to do so. Long Chen explained what had happened, causing their expressions to change. Long Chen announced, There is no going back from certain things once you've done them. The previous three people are the best example. I know there must be people that are being controlled in every group. You still have time, so come out now. The disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance looked at each other. The atmosphere instantly grew tense. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, they aren't just threatening my family. They put a slave seal on my soul. I one disciple nervously stepped forward. He had only spoken halfway when black lines spread across his face like a wriggling centipede. Startled cries rang out. Long Chen snorted and pointed a finger. His spiritual strength surged out, and this sinister mark spread across his arm. Long Chen actually absorbed the curse. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen cried out that disciple Novaloon.com lightning suddenly flickered across his arm, causing the mark to fade away. When it was about to vanish, Long Chen suddenly stopped. He allowed the mark to grow back, and then he sealed it in one place. Long Chen felt that destroying these curses might be sensed by their enemies but sealing them shouldn't raise an alarm. In any case, they were unable to threaten him. Seeing him so easily handle the curse seal, over ten people stepped forward. Don't say anything. Eat this pill first. Its medicinal energy will temporarily stay within your souls, but don't activate it. Once you activate it, it will destroy the curse, and that might be sensed by the other side. We'll have to beat them at their own game. As for your families, don't worry. As long as we're alive, no one will dare to touch them, said Long Chen. He hadn't expected there to be 17 people here being controlled, so he distributed medicinal pills to them. This kind of spiritual curse was unable to cause him any trouble. At that time, the other two close groups arrived. Long Chen once more explained, and another batch of experts stepped forward for him to give them medicinal pills. In order to be safe. Long Chen unleashed his spiritual pressure and questioned whether or not there were more traitors. As a result, two people were unable to endure the pressure and cracked. They were immediately killed by Long Chen. Those people weren't being controlled. They were true spies. There was no need to keep them. Their souls had restrictions that would cause their souls to shatter if they were investigated. The four groups were now united with 2,000 Dragonblood warriors and 180,000 experts of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Although they didn't have any top experts guiding them, they were no longer worried about an attack. Join our compasses together to spread the word, said Long Chen. It went without saying that Xia Chen and Guo Ran were geniuses. Their compasses could be linked together by multiple users to be able to sense others better. It could even transmit some simple information. The fact that there were traitors made Long Chen sigh inside. It seemed that Ji Lingxian hadn't done a good enough job. Or perhaps the people that she entrusted felt that others would also be sincere. However, in such a giant group, who could guarantee that no one had been bought? Even if that wasn't the case, it didn't represent that everyone was of one heart. Long Chen hadn't had time to deal with such a thing, nor had he thought that Ji Lingxian would make such a mistake. As a result, Things were going badly. Originally, Long Chen was planning on using the tools that the spies were using to sniff them all out, but he found that the other side was very crafty. He was unable to sense where their enemies were. 
as the communication tools that they had were only one way and used for sending information to their enemies. Whatever. Wasting time with the weaklings isn't worth it. Long Chen shook his head. If they just waited around, they would waste too much time. Hunting down their ambushers would use up too much of their valuable time here. They did their best to transmit the information as far as possible, but it was unknown if it was received. Those people only had one compass that was unable to reply to them at such a distance. It was up to luck. Curious. If they didn't enter at the same time as us, why would they appear here? Asked one person suspiciously. Do they have maps? They were looking for a specific spot, and they just happened to run into us. That's not likely, right? No one has a map of the Starfield Divine World. A map. Long Chen nodded. The Martial Heaven Alliance doesn't have. But perhaps ancient existences like the everlasting families possess some information. However, there is one power in particular that has a complete map of the Starfield Divine World. The Divine Families everyone's expressions changed. Could it be? Chapter 2446 Huo Long Awakens Translator Born to be the Starfield Divine World was a place that the Divine Families had stood guard over a long time. No one believed that they didn't have a map of it. But the Divine Families did not share that map with the other powers. Now, the main problem wasn't that the Divine Families had a map, but that the Corrupt Path and the Ancient Family Alliance's experts had strategically and accurately attacked the people of the Martial Heaven Alliance. There was definitely some kind of scheme present. Fuck. It's definitely the Divine Families that gave them a map. Cursed one of the Dragonblood Warriors. Considering Long Chen's enmity with the Yi family. It was most likely them. If that was the case, and the Yi family had given their enemies a map, why had the Long family not given Long Chen one as well? It's too early to say that, nor is it the time to deliberate. Long Chen took out several pieces of soul jade and passed them to the Dragonblood warriors leading their groups. This is the map that I obtained. It's the most complete map possible. But we still can't be sure of what exactly is going on in many regions because we haven't gone there personally. Based on the spots we came from, it does seem like a coincidence that the Corrupt Path and the Ancient Family Alliance's disciples intersected with us. Take a look. Long Chen summoned an image of the map in the air. He had managed to look through quite a few soul fragments in the previous slaughter. And so he knew the path that the Corrupt Path and Ancient Family Alliance's disciples had been traveling. They were going in a straight line, while we were randomly roving around and just so happened to run into them. That is why they chose to attack us. Long Chen drew two paths on the map. Boss, you mean that they had a target? Asked one squad leader. Long Chen nodded. Look, we were wandering around searching for our own opportunities. But they were going in a straight line. According to their path, they were going toward Long Chen extrapolated their path, ending up in a certain spot. It's there, based on the map, that was a giant lake. It looked like a long and narrow eye. When he had first seen the lake, he had been quite shocked because it was truly just like an eye. At the center of the eye was some kind of energy, but at that time, he had only managed to get a brief glimpse from the life spirit god. Then are we going there? This was their target. The Divine Families definitely gave them some special treatment. So you should go take a look as well, said Long Chen. What about you? I'm going to look around in some other areas. I'll also be looking for the other groups, said Long Chen. As long as each group had the power to protect themselves, it would be better for them to split up so that they could have more lucky encounters. All right then, we're going to move out. The Dragonblood Warriors brought their groups over to that area. There were now 2,000 Dragonblood warriors present. They were much more confident in their force. Long Chen looked at the compass and saw four tiny spots of light indicating the groups that had just left. He then looked in the other direction. There was another place with two light spots, indicating that two groups had joined together. Searching further, he found a solitary light spot. He rushed over in that direction. As he flew through the air, his body suddenly shuddered. Flames began to rage within the primal chaos space. Huo Long had finally awoken after devouring the heavenly flame orb. The intense flame energy made Long Chen jump. It seemed that Huo Long was unable to perfectly control its power that had suddenly soared. 
It looked like the entire forest inside the primal chaos space would be incinerated. Long Chen hastily pulled Huo Long out of the primal chaos space. As a result, Huo Long let out a heaven-shaking roar. It was like a volcano exploding, with wild flames filling the surrounding space. Anything touched by it, trees, stone, earth, was instantly incinerated. A giant hole was left in the ground, and Long Chen even saw red liquid flowing at the bottom. That wasn't lava but a mineral deposit that had been melted by Huo Long's power. Even Long Chen was shocked. After devouring the heavenly flame orb, Huo Long had reached a level of power that even frightened Long Chen. Its power had undergone a qualitative change. As Huo Long roared, Long Chen realized that this roar was one that contained pain. Startled, he tried to sense what was going on. Huo Long's body suddenly began to rapidly inflate. It grew larger and larger, and its aura was climbing so ferociously as if it was a cultivator that was breaking through a bottleneck. Boom. Huo Long's body exploded. Huo Long. Long Chen let out a startled cry. Had the advancement been a failure big brother Long Chen? I'm fine. A young voice rang out from within the flames, dumbfounding Long Chen. In the center of the explosion, countless flame runes were burning. As they burned. Long Chen sensed their power growing purer. Those runes looked like colored glass. All their impurities were being burned away. Those runes slowly gathered, condensing into the form of a young lady. At first, the form was very indistinct, but as more of the runes condensed, her appearance grew clearer until she appeared to be a pretty maiden of about 15 to 16 years old. She had long hair that reached her waist, and a fiery dress. Her eyes were like two rubies. After that, her delicate mouth curved into a beautiful smile, and she suddenly spread her arms and hugged Long Chen. Big brother Long Chen, I finished my metamorphosis this girl with flames surrounding her excitedly cried out. Flames condensing a spirit? Heavens, this has to be the legendary divine flame spirit that automatically takes human form. Long Chen was shocked and delighted to see this, within his pill sovereign memories. There were recollections of flames with spirits that were born from heaven and earth and could transform. However, those transformations were always in the form of various beasts. As humans were the most spiritual of all life forms, flames were unable to condense into human form, unless that flame had a divine attribute. For Huo Long to have transformed into human form indicated that it possessed the quality of a divine flame. Big Brother Long Chen, are you happy? asked the girl excitedly. I'm happy, of course I'm very happy, said Long Chen, also excitedly. Having transformed, Huo Long now had more human feelings, and its intelligence had grown once more. That heavenly flame orb was truly a priceless treasure. As a spirit of flames, I'll call you Huo Linger then, said Long Chen, giving Huo Long a new name in this form. He, thank you, big brother Long Chen. Huo Linger excitedly hugged Long Chen's neck with a pure smile. Suddenly, a pill furnace flew out. Linger was seated on top of the demon moon furnace, giggling. Little girl, let's be good friends. Linger was unable to wait now that Huo Linger had awoken. Her immense flame energy filled her with anticipation. If they worked together to refine pills, it was unknown just how much stronger their pills would be. You're small too. Why are you calling me little girl? asked Huo Linger. Linger's body was also like that of a girl, who is small. Look again. Linger's body transformed, becoming an elegant, fully grown woman. Furthermore, everything about her had matured. Long Chen was dazzled. Look closely. Who's small? Linger intentionally stuck out her chest proudly, along with an alluring voice that was not how she usually spoke. Linger, don't mess around. Don't corrupt this girl, said Long Chen. He knew that this was most likely one of her past masters. That master had been extremely bewitching. Every look, every word could seduce a person. He, don't men like this kind of woman? Asked Linger, lightly nibbling on a finger. Linger, Long Chen's expression sank. Only then did Linger return to her original form. To Huo Linger, she said. In any case, I'm bigger than you. I'm Linger and you're Huo Linger. You have three characters in your name but I only have two, so I'm definitely bigger, so you have to listen to me. Huo Linger was confused by this logic, but she nodded obediently. He, good, 
Let's go refine some pills. Linger opened the demon moon furnace, bringing Huo Linger inside. Huo Linger can't refine pills with you yet. She needs to help me refine something first, said Long Chen. Can't I help you with that? I don't eat the pills afterward. So what's the difference? Asked Linger. This is different. This pill isn't something that you can refine. Long Chen waved his hand, summoning the moon and star refining furnace. Chapter 2447 Sea Demons Block the Way Translator Born to be this time, I'll have to trouble you, said Long Chen to the moon and star refining furnace. I want to refine the nethergate pills and hopefully ones on the level of giant pills. I've been waiting, responded the moon and star refining furnace. Its voice was ancient and steady like an elder that had experienced the totality of life. Big Brother Long Chen, why can't I refine them? Asked Linger dejectedly. Not all pills can be refined into demon pills. The nethergate pill isn't suited for it, or I wouldn't forget about you. Comforted Long Chen. While Linger was quite childish and competitive, the moon and star refining furnace was unflustered. Even though Long Chen had been using the demon moon furnace this entire time to refine pills, allowing it to recover quickly, the moon and star refining furnace had not said anything or expressed any displeasure. Despite refining pills being the only way for it to recover, Linger pouted and returned to the primal chaos space. Long Chen shook his head. Evil moon, I'm pressed for time. So you fly us over. I have to get accustomed to the laws of this place, said Long Chen. Refining a giant pill was much more complicated and required absorbing the laws of heaven and earth, or the chances of failure would skyrocket. The moon and star refining furnace already knew the method to refine the nethergate pill. Huo Linger was also clear on it and didn't need any instruction. The only thing to do was to let the moon and star refining furnace get used to the outside world's laws and for Huo Linger to get used to her new power. Long Chen held on to the moon and star refining furnace as they sped through the air. Its runes lit up, absorbing the energy of heaven and earth. Huo Linger returned to the primal chaos space to condense her new power. After transforming, Huo Linger's body now had some runes that she didn't understand. She had to get used to her new power. The current Huo Linger was many times stronger than the old Huo Long. However, while powerful flame energy was simple to use in battle, it was different when it came to refining pills. After two hours, the moon and star refining furnace returned to the primal chaos space and began to refine pills. Long Chen left a stream of energy open between the primal chaos space and the outside world so that the outside world's energy could be absorbed. The moon and star refining furnace and Huo Linger slowly started to refine pills, but just as Long Chen had anticipated, Huo Linger's new flame energy was too powerful for her to control. There were several failures, resulting in Huo Linger starting to feel agitated. However, the moon and star refining furnace was extremely steady, teaching her how to control her flame energy bit by bit. It was very patient. Long Chen nodded. This matter could not be rushed. With the moon and star refining furnace guiding Huo Linger, it shouldn't be too long until she got used to things. After comforting her a bit, he was about to focus on the outside world again when Linger ran over to cause trouble, saying that since Huo Linger couldn't refine the nethergate pill, it was better that she helped her refine pills. With a glare from Long Chen, she fell silent. The moon and star refining furnace had said that even if the refinement was a failure, the experience from the process was beneficial. This girl Linger clearly didn't understand such things. Long Chen left refining the nethergate pill up to them. After six hours, he reached another group of the Dragonblood Warriors. However, they weren't leading the people from the Martial Heaven Alliance, but the Xuan Beasts. Boss, Long Chen's arrival delighted the Dragonblood Warriors. They were already in the midst of joining forces with another group. That group had sent out a signal for them to come over. Let's talk on the way. Running into the Xuan Beasts was a happy surprise. This group had both the Dragonblood Warriors and the non-flying Xuan Beasts on the back of the flying Xuan Beasts. They were extremely fast. They said that they hadn't encountered any dangers. They did fly over some kind of race's territory once and were attacked. But they had simply run off without taking any casualties. There had been some powerful beasts as well. But due to their numbers, those beasts only roared angrily when they passed by and didn't attack. 
Those beasts didn't seem to have anything valuable in their territory, so there was no point in attacking them either. This group had received the distress signal and had been moving over there only for Long Chen to send word that things were over. So they had chosen to link up with another group of Dragonblood warriors. That group had also sent out a request for assistance. But that wasn't an urgent distress call. It was just a call for reinforcements. Most likely indicating that they had found something good but felt that they didn't have the power to obtain it on their own. Long Chen nodded. After splitting into so many groups, some of them had to encounter something good, but it was unknown what they had encountered. As they flew through the air, Long Chen continued to investigate the situation of the other groups. He found that other than these two groups that were in the midst of linking up together, the others had at least managed to join forces into groups of two. The biggest group now had seven squads. That relieved Long Chen. Once they joined forces, the danger levels dropped. In truth, Long Chen had also been somewhat worried about splitting the Dragonblood Legion, as it would be dangerous if they encountered experts on the level of Tian Zizi or Di Fang. The Xuan beasts were extremely fast. They almost arrived at their target in just over an hour. Long Chen also saw several other groups approaching that area. Suddenly, dinging sounds rang out. Long Chen and the other squad leaders' compasses were ringing. Not good. The request for reinforcements has become a distress signal. That meant that they had been attacked. Long Chen immediately summoned his lightning wings, speeding off on his own. Long Chen quickly saw a group of countless giant figures. His gaze turned cold. The Sea Demon Race. The Sea Demon Race mostly didn't like to transform into human form. They liked to keep their giant bodies and look down on others. Many of them would put on a half-human and half-demon form. Long Chen saw hundreds of thousands of sea demons attacking the group of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. Their leader was precisely the young king of the six-horned sea serpent race that Long Chen had previously defeated. His aura had grown much more powerful during this time. He was more muscular, and his six horns were shining with divine light. It was like he had a halo. He coldly smiled as he watched the sea demons attack the Dragonblood Warriors and the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. Right now, you have two options. Either scram, or die. Why waste words with them? Let's directly kill them, said another expert behind him. He had scale armor draped over him and a whip in his hand. Exactly. Have you forgotten what Long Chen did to our sea demon race? As long as we kill them all and make sure there are no witnesses. No one will know that we did this, even if people suspect. So what? The Yi family has said that as long as there's no proof, no one can touch us. This is our best opportunity for revenge, said another sea demon expert. This one had a metallic luster to his entire body. Kill them all. The sea demons roared together, killing intent raging in their eyes. There were at least 300,000 of them. They were entirely capable of crushing the disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance. The sea demon race had always been warlike and had never had a good relationship with the creatures of the land. Long Chen in particular had humiliated them twice, and this opportunity to vent was rare. Seeing so many of them roaring together, the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples were infuriated. They had no choice but to put everything on the line at this moment. There was no chance of them getting out with their own power. Amongst them, the squad leader of the Dragonblood Warriors sneered. You really have forgotten your lesson. You were forced to flee like a dog during the Qi Flow eruption. And then later my boss went to the Martial Heaven Sea Ring and made you beg for forgiveness. You think you can bully us because you have numbers now? I guarantee that if you dare to touch us, even if we all die here, my boss will turn the Martial Heaven Sea Ring into a sea of death. You're trying to scare us? Long Chen has offended so many people. He's like a rat being hunted down. He could die at any time. Let's not hesitate any longer and kill them right now. They are insulting us like this, sneered the armored sea demon expert. The young king of the six-horned sea serpent was still hesitating though. However, he then smiled cruelly. Do you really think that Long Chen is a god and that we don't dare to kill you? I'll send you to hell for now, but don't worry because I'll quickly send Long Chen along as well. He waved his hand. Kill them all. The sea demons roared and charged forward like a furious tide. Die. The armored sea demon expert smiled and charged toward the dragonblood warriors. 
when he unleashed a punch. His aura shocked the Dragonblood warriors. He was actually another peak expert that they had never seen before. Boom. In the very first exchange, the ground beneath the Dragonblood warriors crumbled, and in unison, they coughed up a mouthful of blood. Idiots. Not even your boss is necessarily a match for me. As for you, you think you can block me? Die. The armored sea demon sneered, once more unleashing a punch. This time, an image of a giant scorpion appeared behind him. The Dragonblood warrior's armor lit up as they joined forces again to block this attack. Before the punch landed though, a sneer rang out. A little crab dares to run rampant in front of me. Long Chen, Chapter 2448 Magic Trick Transformation Translator Born to be at the same time as his voice rang out, the person speaking also arrived. A fist covered in dragon scales smashed down with a clap of thunder. Boom. An explosion of power shook the void and caused the earth to tear itself apart. The armored sea demon felt a sharp pain in his fist. With his whole arm numb, he realized that his hand had been split. He fell back. However, a hand grabbed his wrist. Long Chen snorted coldly and sent a lightning-like kick at his limb. A cracking sound rang out along with a grunt. The armored sea demon had his arm severed at the shoulder. As soon as the arm left the body, it transformed into a giant crab claw. The crab claw was covered in dark gold runes and looked as if it had been cast from metal. Its aura was comparable to a divine item. However, at this moment, this giant crab claw also had a giant hole in it that caused cracks to spread throughout it. No wonder it was so hard. Long Chen shook out his tingling hand. It seemed that this fellow's hardest aspect was right here. Long Chen. The sea demon's expressions all changed. None of them had expected Long Chen to suddenly appear. Boss. The Dragonblood Warriors and the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples cheered. Kill Long Chen with them. He can't change the tides just by himself shouted the sea demon with a severed arm. A new arm quickly grew out, but it was clearly much weaker. Long Chen, since you want to die so badly, don't blame me. The six-horned sea serpent recovered from his shock and smiled. There was no turning back at this point. Kill. Just at this moment, the other group of dragonblood warriors leading the Xuan beasts entered the fray. The six-horned sea serpent man summoned his manifestation, and a sea appeared around him. He attacked with his bone trident. This attack seemed to possess some kind of law, and it froze the space around Long Chen. The six-horned sea serpent man had launched one of his sharpest killing blows right at the start, not wasting time on any probing blows. Beside him, the snake-eyed man and the armored man also attacked from two different angles. It's not me who wants to die, but you. Long Chen sneered. Evil Moon slashed toward the bone trident, but just as they were about to clash, Long Chen flipped his blade, receiving it with the back of his saber. He then let go of Evil Moon. Sparks flew along with an ear-shaking explosion. Evil Moon was sent flying straight toward the snake-eyed man. The snake-eyed man had been attacking at the same time with a sword. And upon seeing Evil Moon spinning toward him, he slashed his sword at it. Upon seeing that, the six-horned sea serpent's expression changed. Get out of the way. He suddenly found that Long Chen had managed to condense his power within his blade while also drawing in the power of his bone trident when he struck it. That explosive power could be considered a combination attack containing both his and Long Chen's power. However, his warning was too late. Evil Moon had already spun into the snake-eyed man's sword. The sword and the wielder exploded in an instant. He was killed without any suspense. This attack contained both Long Chen's power and the six-horned sea serpent's power. Even Long Chen himself wasn't able to receive it just like that. Long Chen could let go of Evil Moon because Evil Moon could control itself. At the same time, Long Chen faced his third opponent, the Armored Man. As soon as the Armored Man saw Long Chen's gaze turn toward him, he had a bad feeling. Seeing that his comrade was instantly killed. He decided to retreat instead of following through with his punch. You really are stupid, sneered Long Chen. Watch out. The six-horned sea serpent gave another warning. At some point, a giant hole had appeared behind the armored man. This sudden warning made the bad feeling inside of the armored man intensify. Without thinking he summoned his true form. However, as he summoned his giant body, the hole grew larger as well, devouring him. The hole then sealed itself. 
The demon moon furnace had materialized outside. The demon moon furnace rumbled as the armored man fought to get out. Bastard. Release my heavenly crab general roared the six-horned sea serpent. The snake-eyed man and the armored man were his left and right hands. Second only to him within the junior generation of the sea demons. The two of them were the cornerstones of what he was going to use to crush the martial heaven continent. And the two geniuses he had the highest hopes for. In the blink of an eye, his left hand was dead without a corpse. While his right hand was sealed within a furnace. He felt like he was going crazy. The two of them were extremely powerful. But they had yet to be able to show any of their true power before Long Chen conned one to death and trapped the other. Boom. The six-horned sea serpent's trident smashed into the demon moon furnace, sending it flying. However, it wasn't damaged. There wasn't even the slightest mark left. At that moment, Evil Moon flew back into Long Chen's hand. The six-horned sea serpent continued to attack the demon moon furnace, each attack causing huge ripples to spread throughout the void. It could be seen how powerful his attacks were. Watching him attack, Long Chen smiled oddly. The six-horned sea serpent wanted to save his right arm, all the while not realizing that every one of his attacks was being transmitted directly into the armored man inside the furnace. Every time he attacked, the armored man would cough up a mouthful of blood. He was howling, not knowing what was going on outside, but he couldn't be hurt anyway. Long Chen ignored it as the six-horned sea serpent attacked the demon moon furnace. Instead, he summoned Lai Long. Lai Long transformed into millions of lightning dragons that ran rampant across the battlefield, completely suppressing the sea demons. Those who could enter the Starfield Divine World were geniuses amongst geniuses. After splitting its power so much, Lai Long was unable to directly kill them. However, just paralyzing them for a moment was enough. Lai Long's lightning was their natural bane. Their resistance toward Thunder Force was far lower than that of the life forms of the continent. Both humans and Xuan beasts had greater tolerance to Thunder Force than the sea demons, with their movements turning sluggish on the battlefield where a single blink could cause death. They began to be slaughtered. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples and the Xuan beasts were only mildly affected by the lightning in the air. It was at an acceptable level. Hence, the sea demons were instantly hard-pressed, with any superiority they had due to their numbers advantage vanishing. Long Chen just stood there, not attacking the six-horned sea serpent or the other sea demons. He also didn't allow Ling Er to kill the armored sea demon that she had trapped. He wanted to see just how long the six-horned sea serpent would continue like this. In just a short moment, the six-horned sea serpent had attacked the demon moon furnace over a hundred times. The tempo of his attacks and their power truly showed his power. However, the demon moon furnace was still completely unharmed. Now the six-horned sea serpent was starting to run out of breath. He finally gave up. He couldn't break the furnace. So he turned back to Long Chen. He realized that Long Chen was trying to exhaust him so that he wouldn't be able to escape. Long Chen, release my heavenly crab general or the martial heaven continent will face a bloody retribution from the sea demon race. I will use our full power to get revenge. Don't doubt my determination, said the six-horned sea serpent furiously. His eyes had strands of blood in them, giving him a frightening appearance. With a wave of his hand, the sea demons on the battlefield retreated, running behind him. They looked at Long Chen in terror. The battle had lasted for less than an incense stick's worth of time but a third of the sea demons had been obliterated. Lai Long had caused countless casualties amongst them. The Dragonblood Legion also stopped. They swung the blood off their blades and walked over to Long Chen, staring coldly at the sea demons. Long Chen beckoned, and the demon moon furnace flew back to his side. Looking directly at the six-horned sea serpent, he said, You want your crab general? How about I show you a magic trick instead? What are you talking about? demanded the six-horned sea serpent. I can turn him red. Do you believe me? Long Chen opened the lid. An enormous figure came out, one that caused the six-horned sea serpent's eyes to turn scarlet. Chapter 2449 The Power of the Third Step of Nether Passage Translator Born to be a crab even bigger than a mountain came out of the demon moon furnace. It fell to the ground, its body fully cooked and bright red. Something yellow was coming out of its belly giving off a strong scent. Sorry, the fire was a bit strong, 
said Long Chen apologetically. A peak expert of the sea demon race had been cooked by Long Chen. This was a giant slap in the face to the entire sea demon race. The sea demons were gnashing their teeth furiously. You really are too courteous. You know that it's been a long time since I've had meat. So you gave me such a nice crab. Speaking of which, did you bring any hot peppers for flavor? Asked Long Chen. Long Chen, you will regret this. The six-horned sea serpent man's words came from the space between his clenched teeth. Regret it? No. You will be the one regretting it. I let you off in front of the yin-yang world and then again in the martial heaven sea ring. I'm telling you. I'm not used to letting things go like that. This time. I'm not letting you go again. I'll show you who is going to regret it. A cold light appeared in Long Chen's eyes. The sea demon race was really stupid. It seemed that the Yi family had incited them as well. This time, Long Chen wasn't planning on having mercy on them. A race with such low intelligence would never forget about an enmity. They would only remember that others had done things wrong to them without ever considering their own actions. Long Chen had endured them twice before, but now he had cooked that peak expert to show his determination. Long Chen, you've now created an undying enmity between the sea demon race and your martial heaven alliance declared the six-horned sea serpent. All right, I feel like rather than just shouting, you should use that trident in your hand to speak, said Long Chen lazily. The six-horned sea serpent man furiously waved his hand, giving the signal to retreat. You guys should retreat as well. Ah, don't forget to bring the crab. Don't eat him yet. We'll save the feast for when I cook this little fish serpent as well, said Long Chen to the dragon blood warriors. Die. The six-horned sea serpent man suddenly attacked. The horns on his head lit up one after another. His aura multiplied in power. This could be considered his strongest divine ability. Every horn on his head was like a seal containing his power. Now that all six horns lit up, a wave of power spread in every direction. Both the sea demons and the martial heaven alliance's disciples retreated. Long Chen, I wasn't going to kill you because you aren't my target. My targets are those like Feng Fei. But since you're in such a rush to reincarnate, I'll show you the six-horned sea serpent race's forbidden power. The six-horned sea serpent man suddenly vanished. It was as if he had teleported. He appeared in front of Long Chen, his trident slashing down like lightning. The power of this attack had reached the pinnacle. Even the dragon blood warriors sensed a feeling of death coming from that attack. Just brute power? I've never been afraid of that. Long Chen snorted. This divine ability was just pure power. Hence, Long Chen slashed his saber out. His astral spaces sent their power circulating through him. His Feng Fu, Aliath, Life Fate, Enlightenment Palace, Divine Gate, and even the slumbering Nethergate star that had yet to fully form began to shudder. Six stars appeared in his eyes. Although he could only summon the five-star battle armor, the sixth star was definitely there. His life and death energy erupted. Even as the six-horned sea serpent unleashed his full power, Long Chen used just one hand, meeting his bone trident with Evil Moon. A powerful explosion unleashed a tempest with the two of them at the center. Astral winds were flung out chaotically. The two of them were still locked at the center, neither of them budging. However, the surrounding space was being continuously wrecked. You've improved, but you want to challenge Feng Fei with just this level of power? You must be joking, sneered Long Chen. The six-horned sea serpent man was shocked. Even after experiencing his race's blood baptism, he was still unable to beat Long Chen in power. In truth, Long Chen's calm expression was just cover. He was shocked inside. He had previously thought that life and death energy was more of a law and not a power. But upon reaching the third step of Nether Passage, he realized that when he used his world energy, his life and death energy was the key to controlling his world energy. This was something that he had not noticed or heard of before. Life and death energy could be considered a law for others. The life energy could be used to heal oneself or others, while the death energy could be added to weapons or magical arts to give them the power of a law. However, the nine-star hegemon body art was different. Now that he had reached the third step, his astral spaces had opened giving him an unending source of explosive power. Without even realizing it himself, Long Chen had grown in power. No matter how the six-horned sea serpent attacked, Long Chen didn't budge. 
This infuriated him. Bastard. A giant manifestation appeared behind him, rapidly growing solid. It was a giant sea serpent. Water chi filled the air, turning it sticky and misty. It was even possible to smell seawater. His manifestation roared. The mist condensed into water droplets that turned this place into a giant sea. Within this sea, the six-horned sea serpent's power continued to rise. It could no longer be considered pure power, as it now contained the strongest laws of the sea. This was a domain. I didn't think that you'd force me to use my heavenly water domain. Long Chen, you can be proud even in death. This was what I was preparing to use against Feng Fei within the raging sea. The six-horned sea serpent sneered at Long Chen. His voice was full of anger, as well as unwillingness. This was a technique he had never exposed in front of outsiders. As long as he was given enough time, he could suck in the entire world's water chi to support himself. This was the divine ability that allowed the six-horned sea serpent race to stand amongst the top ranks of the sea demon race. Every technique had its own flaws, including this heavenly water domain. He needed to condense mist, then condense droplets, condense water, and then turn it into a sea. Furthermore, it needed to be completed over a large area to be effective, or the opponent would escape out of it. This technique took a great deal of time to set up. Now that it was exposed, his enemies would simply flee as soon as the mist appeared. Then he would never be able to use this trump card again. This was what he had been planning on using against Feng Fei. But now Long Chen had forced it out. This technique would now probably be useless against Feng Fei. What a useless technique. After one use, it no longer has any effect. There's no need to use it against weak opponents. While strong ones will be prepared. You really do underestimate Feng Fei. You think that this could trap her? How naive. Long Chen shook his head contemptuously. Still not counterattacking. Big words. But you won't be able to escape alive now. Sneered the six-horned sea serpent. His domain continued to grow larger. And the pressure increased. If he allowed this domain to continue growing limitlessly. In theory. He could control this entire world. Of course. The precondition was that he could control it without it devouring him first. Even as the six-horned sea serpent's domain increased in power, he didn't unleash any fierce attacks. Long Chen slowly smiled. What? Are you stalling for time? Sorry, my time is limited. I'm going to attack. Boom. Long Chen suddenly slammed the back of Evil Moon's blade with his other hand. A fierce power created a typhoon within the sea. Azure Dragon Battle Armor Chapter 2450 Crushing Through Power Translator Born to be Long Chen had previously been using the power of the 5-star battle armor to get accustomed to the new power of his astral spaces. Having gotten used to the power of the third step of Nether Passage, he summoned the Azure Dragon Battle Armor. His body became covered in dragon scales. His 108,000 scales matched his 108,000 astral spaces their power mixing together. A volcanic power erupted out of Evil Moon, sending the six-horned sea serpent shooting back. He coughed up a mouthful of blood, flying straight out of his heavenly water domain. Long Chen's power stunned him. Bubbles began to rage within his domain. It was like it was boiling. The very laws of his domain were being destroyed by Long Chen's aura. Physical strength which surpasses that of a law. The six-horned sea serpent was appalled. However, he then roared furiously and slammed his hands onto his domain. Heavenly water twining sea serpent. Two giant sea serpents appeared within his domain. Twisting around Long Chen. The water roared as the void began to spin along with them. Blood lines appeared on the six horned sea serpent's face. Blood began to ooze out of his body and merge into his domain. The two sea serpents inside grew even stronger with that blood. Long Chen. Die. The six horned sea serpent roared pouring all his power into the two sea serpents. It was impossible to see Long Chen within the twisting space. Break. A roar rang out from within the broken space. The two giant sea serpents exploded along with the very water domain. Within the rain, Long Chen appeared. However, his scales were no longer pure white. They were now half white and half black. Evil Moon was in his hand. The current Long Chen was much more frightening. It was as if he wished to devour all life within this world. It went without saying that the six-horned sea serpent was powerful. 
This water domain of his was something that might truly possess the power to kill Long Chen if he hadn't reached the third step. The ability to control an entire domain and concentrate all power into destroying the laws of space in one area was truly shocking. Long Chen had only managed to break it with the combined power of the Azure Dragon and the Evil Dragon. He also knew that if they were on the Martial Heaven continent, then with the support of the Martial Heaven Sea Ring, this technique's power would be even greater. Kill them all, shouted Long Chen. He charged toward the Six-Horned Sea Serpent. Kill. Roars rang out from every direction. What the Six-Horned Sea Serpent was shocked. At some point, four more groups of the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts had arrived under the direction of the Dragonblood Warriors. They collapsed upon the Sea Demons. Just at that moment, Long Chen's saber hacked down upon him, not giving him a chance to give any orders. Despite blocking, he smashed into the ground, hacking up blood. Long Chen was one with his saber as he continued attacking. The six-horned sea serpent coughed up more blood, his arms breaking. Before he could heal, Long Chen stabbed his saber at him. The six-horned sea serpent hastily took out a tortoise shell that transformed into a giant shield. This tortoise shell's aura was extremely ancient. It was a divine item of the sea demon race. Boom. Long Chen's arms quivered. He managed to stab a hole into the tortoise shell, but he was unable to pierce through it. Despite that, his power was enough to cause the ground to sink once more, and a wave of earth rose. My black tortoise heavenly shield, the six-horned sea serpent let out a pained shout. That was a divine item of the heavenly black spirit tortoise race, a relic left behind by one of their ascenders. Not only was its defensive power amazing, but the secret arts of its race were recorded on top of it. The heavenly black spirit tortoise race had vanished from the martial heaven continent. This was the only divine item left behind by them. This treasure recorded the ascender's will, so its value was impossible to estimate. It was something that the six-horned sea serpent used to gain comprehension into the heavenly deos, not for battle. Compared to its value in terms of comprehension, its amazing defensive power was second. No one would be willing to risk it. However, in that critical juncture, he hadn't had time to hesitate. He had taken out this treasure, which was now damaged by Long Chen. Its runes began to dim. The runes specific to the will of the Ascender also faded, causing the Six-Horned Sea Serpent's heart to almost rip apart. Even if he was a young king of the Six-Horned Sea Serpent race, this shell belonged to the entire Sea Demon race. He was not qualified to use it for battle. Now he had no idea how he would be able to explain himself once he returned. I'll tear you to pieces. Suddenly, the earth exploded beneath Long Chen, knocking him back. The six-horned sea serpent stabbed two fingers into his own forehead. Blood dripped into his hand. After that, the giant sea serpent within his manifestation multiplied into six. His manifestation grew larger and suddenly began to give off an ancient aura. Ancestral power. Descend. The six-horned sea serpent's horns lit up once more, forming a halo behind his head. Blood continued to pour out of the hole in his head. It was a frightening appearance, but the six giant sea serpents were now sending a mysterious energy into him that made him seem like a completely different person. Even if you brought out every ancestor from your race, I wouldn't be afraid. Long Chen slashed Devil Moon. The two of them began to exchange blows equally. After 16 attacks where neither side was able to force the other back a single step, the webbing between Long Chen's thumb and forefinger split open. The six-horned sea serpent was using a self-destructive technique to boost his own power. By sacrificing his essence blood, he summoned the power of his ancestors to support him. Although Long Chen had suffered a minor injury just now, the six-horned sea serpent was being injured with each attack inside. His aura was starting to dramatically drop. The six-horned sea serpent risked a glance at the battlefield. The sea demons were broken up and being slaughtered. Without his left and right arms, they were divided. Retreat. The six-horned sea serpent let out an unwilling shout. Even in this state, he was unable to beat Long Chen. They had to retreat before they were wiped out. The sea demons instantly fled. With their huge bodies, other than a few unlucky fellows at the front. The rest managed to blast through by using their fallen comrades' corpses as shields. Long Chen, just wait. I will make you regret this, roared the six-horned sea serpent, falling back. However, 
Just at that moment, he sensed something wrong. The tortoise shell came out once more. Boom. A pill furnace smashed into the tortoise shell. It had just been a bit away from sucking him inside. The six-horned sea serpent shivered. The demon moon furnace was far too demonic. It appeared silently with no warning at all. If he hadn't reacted fast enough, he would have been doomed. Dragonblood void extinguisher suddenly. The dragonblood warriors charged at him. All six groups of 500 people attacked at once. This was a weakened version of Guo Ran's Dragonblood Cross Slash. Even 500 people were able to unleash it, but its power was still immense. Under normal circumstances, perhaps the Six Horned Sea Serpent would look down on such an attack. However, it was coming from six different directions, and he was also in an injured state. Five Ancestor Protection Five Sea Serpents vanished from his manifestation, and then a five color shield appeared around him. He had transformed his ancestral power into a shield. Six rays of sword chi shattered at the same time. They were unable to even rattle this shield. Split the heavens eight. A saber image suddenly slashed down, instantly blowing apart the shield. Half of the six horned sea serpent's body exploded, not giving him a chance to breathe. Long Chen attacked again, this time aiming for his head. Chapter 2451 Death Substitute Talisman Translator Born to be Long Chen had been waiting precisely for this moment. His goal wasn't to defeat the six-horned sea serpent but to kill him. Although they might sound similar, there was an immense difference between them. Beating him required being just one level stronger. But killing him was much more difficult. Because no one who was beaten would silently sit there waiting to die instead of fleeing. In order to kill an expert on this level. Long Chen had to first exhaust all their trump cards and energy before an opportunity would present itself. Now, that chance had come. Using the celestial lightning body blink, Long Chen appeared in front of him and unleashed a full power slash. The six-horned sea serpent took out his tortoise shell once more. However, in its damaged state, it was no longer able to block Long Chen. It shattered. Nonetheless, it still managed to win him a chance to breathe. He hastily retreated, trying to get between two squads of the Dragonblood Warriors. However, the Dragonblood Warriors were prepared. They once more combined forces and attacked, their goal not being to kill him but merely to block him. Suddenly, the six-horned sea serpent's body transformed. He returned to his original form, that of a giant sea serpent. Two rays of sword chi landed on his body, tearing through his defenses and leaving two giant wounds. However, in his true form, those giant cuts were still acceptable. He charged through, unleashing a wave of power as he passed to knock the Dragonblood Warriors back. With him putting everything on the line and using his full power, the Dragonblood Warriors were unable to prevent him from getting past. But they did delay him. In that instant, Long Chen caught up to him from behind, a giant saber image condensing in the air. Long Chen, you'll regret it if you kill me shouted the six-horned sea serpent as he fled. Even in his true form, he wasn't faster than Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen's saber about to fall on him, he cried out, panicked. Long Chen ignored him. Talking with such a brainless person was a waste of time. He continued to accumulate power, wanting to kill him with this final blow. The six-horned sea serpent had exhausted enough of his power for Long Chen to kill him. There was no way the former could maintain his peak form in this state. Split the heavens eight. Long Chen's response to his threat was to slash down the attack that he had been condensing. Long Chen, you bastard. The six-horned sea serpent cried out furiously, his voice hoarse. It almost sounded like he was wailing. The six-horned sea serpent suddenly took out a strange bone. It was like a mountain and sparkled like jade, but it was also filled with a violent and bloodthirsty aura. Long Chen, you've made me use up my six-horned sea serpent race's divine bone. Just wait, I swear that I will avenge this enmity roared the six-horned sea serpent. Long Chen's attack landed on the strange bone. He had expected it to be an incredibly tough shield, but he was confident in his attack. Unexpectedly though, the bone instantly exploded. Evil Moon slashed through the six-horned sea serpent's body with almost no resistance at all. Cheers started to ring out. But that cheering fell silent a moment later. No blood splashed. The six-horned sea serpent's aura also didn't vanish. What a death substitution talisman? 
I didn't expect the sea demon race to possess such an object. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. This kind of death substitution talisman wasn't a divine talisman. It was more like witchcraft. This kind of witchcraft had long since vanished from the martial heaven continent. No one knew how to use these techniques. It was said it had been part of the human race's techniques. And this talisman allowed them to control a puppet to take their place at a critical moment. Such witchcraft was extremely mysterious. When the puppet died, the master would enter a temporary state of being in the void. In that state, they could not be attacked. It was as if in that moment, they were no longer part of the world or even time and space. It was inexplicable. The instant that Long Chen's attack shattered the bone, the six-horned sea serpent had vanished from his lock. Despite seeing him right there, he was no longer present. For a certain amount of time, Long Chen couldn't touch him. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder, looking at him without any sign of discouragement. Instead, he had a faint smile. Ah, based on your painful expression, it seems that this death substitution talisman is your final life-preserving trump card? Ah, how regretful. Such a divine object is probably one of a kind. Another one will not be born in this world. Such a treasure could probably protect the user's life even against an emperor. Wow, you actually wasted such a thing on me. Shut up. The six-horned sea serpent went crazy upon seeing Long Chen's pitying expression. If he hadn't taken out this bone, he would have died just now. However, Long Chen's guess was correct. This was the only death substitution talisman amongst the sea demon race, and it had been passed down for an unknown number of generations. The sea demon race had only allowed him to take it because he was entering the Starfield Divine World. This was a priceless treasure that could protect his life no matter what kind of terrifying opponent he ran into. This treasure was something that would allow him to enter some dangerous areas in search of treasure, even if things took a bad turn he would still be able to protect his life. But now, that plan was ruined. He had actually used this one-of-a-kind treasure not on some supreme expert, but on someone within the same generation as him. Long Chen, you destroyed my tortoise shell and wasted my precious substitute bone. I'll make you pay for this. I can't kill you, but I can kill all the ants beneath you. Just wait. The six-horned sea serpent began to fade away until he vanished without a trace. Long Chen shook his head and sighed. In the end, he had failed to kill him. Geniuses like the Six-Horned Sea Serpent had the karmic luck of an entire race concentrated on them. They also had priceless treasures that made killing them extremely difficult. Despite knowing all this already, Long Chen couldn't help being disappointed. It's fine. I'll use your snake skin to make some boots for myself. I refuse to believe you have another treasure like that. Long Chen put away Evil Moon and calmed his emotions. Looking back at the battlefield, he saw that all the sea demons had fled. Boss, the sea demons had 300,000 experts here. We killed 170,000. The rest fled. On our side, over 10,000 people died, reported a dragon blood warrior. Long Chen nodded. To only lose 10,000 while killing 170,000 was an amazing combat achievement. A portion of that was thanks to Lai Long. Lai Long was their bane and had greatly weakened them, not to mention lowering their morale. There were now six squads gathered, five from the Martial Heaven Continent and one from the Xuan Beasts. That was a powerful force. Boss, that fellow escaped. The other groups are now probably in danger, said one Dragonblood warrior. If one squad were to encounter him alone, they would probably be wiped out. This place isn't the Martial Heaven Sea Ring so it probably will take a while for him to recover. As long as we use this time to gather the squad so that each group has a captain-level combatant, we'll still be able to fight upon encountering someone like him. Let's link our compasses and transmit the news. In the future, if you encounter any sea demons, don't waste any words. If the situation is suitable, just directly kill them, said Long Chen. They linked up six compasses, allowing them to reach even further. Boss, Boss Kuo Ran has reached back to us, asking if we want to meet up with him. He's about half a day's travel from us and has two squads, reported a squad leader. That's a good idea. If we're so close, we can even pass a bit of the map to him. He can link up everyone and transmit the map bit by bit, said Long Chen. 
Guo Ran was with Xia Chen. The main goal right now was to pass the map to everyone. Long Chen gave the orders, and everyone got to work. Transmitting all this information didn't just require multiple compasses, but it also required the power of their dragon blood. Some of the dragon blood warriors took charge of that, while the others cleaned up the battlefield. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, what do you want to do with these corpses? The Nidans within the sea demons were valuable, but the actual corpses weren't so useful. But just tossing them aside would be wasteful. I'll take the corpses. Long Chen sent them into the primal chaos space. This meat was probably too low level for wild. And if he didn't want them, he could use them as fertilizer. An incense sticks worth of time later. The work was done. They had also received word back from Guo Ran that they had received the map. Boss, let's go. We found a potential treasure house. The sea demons came over here precisely for it said one of the dragon blood warriors chapter 2452 black marsh translator born to be an incense sticks time of travel away from the battlefield was a black marsh within the depths of the marsh was a strange flickering divine light sometimes mist would surge out of that area and the surrounding vegetation would distinctly light up that was a bizarre phenomenon one of the squads of the dragon blood warriors had noticed it first after some observation they had concluded that it definitely was not an ordinary place. There was very likely a treasure within. However, this marsh seemed to be its own world, and it was impossible to fly inside. Once they fell into the marsh, they would be sucked inside. They had captured a 12th rank beast to try crossing the marsh, only for that beast to die without any struggle. It was then swallowed by the marsh as if being devoured. Water element and earth element cultivators had tried to control the marsh only to get zero reaction from the water and earth. They had tried countless things but were unable to figure out how to cross. Anything they tried to send through the marsh sank. It was as if the water did not allow anything to float on top of it. Feeling that this place was too sinister, they had been wondering whether or not to send out a request for reinforcements. When suddenly, the mist reappeared, and this time it was far greater than any other eruption. Within it, it was possible to see an immortal abode. They could see figures moving within the immortal abode, but it wasn't possible to see who they were. The mist began to spread, even reaching them outside of the marsh. When the mist approached them, they felt their pores fully open. Some of them cried out in amazement. This was immortal mist capable of extending a person's lifespan. There were many things capable of providing a person with life energy but things that could extend a person's longevity were heaven-defying existences. A person's lifespan was related to their cultivation base. But all people, regardless of cultivation base, had a limit to their lifespan. Once they reached that limit, if they failed to break through to the next realm, the only thing left to them was death. Most people were unable to sense their own remaining lifespan. They would only sense their limit once they were already deteriorating. However, Amongst them were some people with special cultivation arts who were capable of confirming that the mist could increase a person's longevity. So everyone began to absorb it. The immortal mist continued to spread, unleashing radiant light that ended up attracting a new group of people. Those people were the sea demons. The dragon blood warriors had hastily hidden themselves. They only had 50,000 people, while the other side outnumbered them. The sea demons also had that young king of the six-horned sea serpent race. So the dragon blood warriors could only temporarily retreat. Now that they had confirmed that there was a priceless treasure present, they sent out the request for reinforcements, hoping for enough people to come to fight off the sea demons. However, later, when the mist started to fade, the sea demons that were searching for a way to enter the marsh noticed signs that others had been there recently. Their large-scale search resulted in them finding the dragon blood warriors. At first, the six-horned sea serpent had only been planning on making them scram, but with the urging of his left and right arms, he had given the order to kill them. That was when Long Chen had arrived. It could be said that the reason the sea demons had taken such immense losses was due to fighting over this marsh. When they arrived at the marsh, Long Chen reached out and touched the water. Boss, be careful. It's toxic. Long Chen's fingertip touched the black water. His finger instantly turned black, and it rapidly spread up his arm. Everyone's hearts clenched. 
They had tested the water, but of course, when they tested it, they didn't use themselves to do it. They had used a magical beast to touch the water, only for its claw to instantly corrode. They had cut off its claw before it could spread, but despite that, the rest of the magical beast also turned black. It then transformed into a glop of black water that dissolved into the marsh. The corrosion of the black water rapidly spread, but it came to a stop before it could extend further than Long Chen's hand. It then began to be forced back until his finger returned to its normal color. This black water has a law to it. It's not poison but a power similar to aging. It invades a person's physical body and also their soul. Cutting off the flesh is useless because the soul will quickly age and die, said Long Chen. The Starfield Divine World was filled with extremely bizarre phenomena. It was difficult to explain them using the knowledge of the Martial Heaven Continent. So Long Chen had personally tested it. Then doesn't that mean that we can't get through it? Everyone was disappointed. Long Chen took out a divine item and stuck it into the marsh. The runes on the divine item quickly faded until they vanished. After that, the divine item became covered in cracks and exploded. Everyone was stunned. Not even a divine item could block this law, let alone the physical body. Big Brother Long Chen, let me try it. I'm not afraid of this law, said Ling Er. Long Chen shook his head. Perhaps you can resist it, but the conflicting natures of water and fire will result in you burning up too much energy. You might not be able to last until the center of the marsh, but even if you can, we might encounter something bad there, only for you to be out of energy to retreat. Long Chen could sense something powerful at the center of the marsh. However, he had no idea whether it was friendly or not. Long Chen took out a bronze bar. He carefully placed it on the water and was delighted to see it remain unaffected by the water. This treasure he had taken from the gates of hell was immune to the black water. He made it larger and let it float on the water. He then jumped on and found it to be very steady. Everyone was delighted. Guard this place. I'll go in to take a look ordered Long Chen. He slowly started floating over to the center of the marsh. There was sludge and silt everywhere emitting a corrosive aura. Just smelling it could make a person dizzy. It seemed that countless corpses had been rotting inside this marsh for numerous years. Even if you didn't breathe, even if you closed off all your pores, this corrosive aura would still try to invade your body. It's actually exhausting my spiritual yuan quite quickly. Sending the bronze bar floating through the marsh should have been a simple task, but it was surprisingly taxing. He estimated that he wouldn't be able to last for an hour. Within this mysterious marsh, his speed was very slow. He began to take breaks, making sure to keep his spiritual yuan above 70%. Eventually, he reached the center of the marsh. Looking back, he was unable to see the other side. Long Chen grew ever more wary and continued going deeper. He eventually reached the mist area and found that it really did possess some strange ability. With just a breath, he felt invigorated. With his vision and divine sense limited within the mist, he did his best to continue going straight. However, it was all too easy to end up going in the wrong direction. All of a sudden, he came to a stop. He squatted down, sensing some almost imperceptible fluctuations coming from the bottom of the marsh. When he went silent and suppressed all of his aura, those fluctuations faded. Only then did Long Chen continue onward carefully. Even after another two hours, he didn't sense that strange phenomenon again. But as he went deeper, the mist grew denser. Suddenly, the bronze bar shook. Long Chen almost jumped off, but then he laughed. He had reached an island within the marsh. Long Chen jumped onto the land. The mist on the island began to clear up revealing a world of greenery and flowers. There was an ancient forest on the island. Giant vines were hanging from the trees, and the leaves covered the sky. Despite that, the forest didn't seem all that sinister because there was a strange kind of grass that emitted its own light and illuminated the forest. Some small beasts were running around within the forest. They didn't seem to be afraid of Long Chen upon seeing him, looking at him curiously. This evil marsh is hiding such a wonderland. How surprising, Long Chen couldn't help smiling. With just a glance, he had seen several precious medicinal ingredients. Those were ingredients that had reached the level of priceless treasures on the Martial Heaven continent. He wondered what treasures could be found even deeper into the forest. Suddenly, 
A gust of wind made Long Chen raise his hand. A splinter appeared in his finger. The splinter was three inches long and black other than some white lines on it. There was some dew on it as well. Long Chen raised his head, only to see a figure vanish within the forest. There are people here. Startled, Long Chen followed. Just at that moment, the peaceful air became sinister and dark. The giant vines hanging on the trees suddenly shot toward him. At the same time, tiny needles rained down from the leaves. Startled, Long Chen retreated. However, he found that the scenery behind him had been replaced by wooden stakes that were shooting out from the darkness. So it's tree demons. Long Chen snorted. Evil Moon appeared in his hand, and with a single slash, wooden fragments filled the air. The earth exploded, and giant tentacles soared into the air, preparing to attack him. Stop. Suddenly, those tentacles froze in midair. Chapter 2453 Friend of the Human Race Translator Born to be those tentacles had sharp barbs with a golden luster to them. They looked chillingly sharp. However, those tentacles now slowly retreated back into the earth, vanishing without a trace. My apologies. I hope that you won't take offense. An ancient voice rang out. The forest began to move, the trees parting to create a path. At the end of the path was a large mountain with an ancient tree growing on the top of it. This tree was not much smaller than the Luo spirit race's life spirit god. The light flowing within it made it appear to be a divine tree from the immortal world. Please, come and have a chat. The ancient voice rang out once more. This time, Long Chen clearly heard it come from the ancient tree. Then I'll disturb you. Long Chen cupped his fist slightly and walked over. Once he arrived, he saw an old man seated beneath the tree. He appeared to be a hardy elder who seemed to exude the aura of an immortal Daoist. Behind the elder were a dozen maids in white dresses. They had various fruits in their hands that they were arranging on the table. My sincere apologies. These children have been trapped here for countless years, and we are often invaded. Let me apologize on their behalf. There's not much within this wilderness, but I have some fruit that I hope can make things up to you, said the elder. Even before tasting any of the fruits, their fragrance had reached Long Chen, almost making him drool. Senior is too courteous. It was rude of me not to visit without a gift, said Long Chen courteously. However, his hands weren't courteous at all. He immediately grabbed one of the fruits and ate half of it in one bite. It was an apple-like fruit whose juices were exceptionally sweet. It also contained concentrated life energy and it was even more effective than top-grade healing medicines. With an apple in his left hand and a melon in his right hand, Long Chen began to chomp down while praising them. They truly were delicious and extremely satisfying after the taxing journey. Ha ha ha, I'm glad that you like them. I don't have much else other than this to offer you. So eat up, said the elder happily. Then many thanks. Long Chen consumed dozens of the various fruits only stopping once his stomach was full. With a satisfactory belch, he said, Senior, I suppose you must be one of the aboriginals of this place. Do you know what happened in the battle back then? The elder sighed. Yes, we are the original inhabitants of this place. That battle back then shattered our peaceful lives. It was a battle of gods that resulted in a calamity for us who live on the bottom levels. It's a long story. Here, I know the human race likes wine. I've learned many wine-making arts from the human race. Would you like a taste of my abilities? One of the maids brought over some wine cups and poured for the two of them. The wine was amber and gave off a strong fruit wine fragrance. I don't even know how many years it's been. Probably tens of thousands of years. Back then, one of the experts of your human race saved my life. I also learned how to make wine from them. It can be said that the human race is our greatest benefactor. The tree demon race here will always be grateful to the human race and welcome you, said the elder happily. You're too courteous. Here's to a long friendship between the human race and the tree demon race. Cheers. Long Chen laughed and drank the cup of wine. He used an ancient form of wine etiquette, holding it with the sleeves of both hands. After drinking it, Long Chen smacked his lips and frowned ever so slightly. What is it? Is my wine still lacking some maturity? asked the elder a smile in his eyes. Forgive me for my directness. The fruit was good, but this wine was lacking. Perhaps you might not believe me, 
but it just so happens that I have some fruit wine made by a grand master of the wine Dao. Normally, I'm not even willing to drink it, but I'll take it out today to discuss the wine Dao with you, said Long Chen. Long Chen took out a jug of wine, opening the seal. A dense wine fragrance instantly filled the air. Just the scent was able to intoxicate people. Good wine. The elder's expression changed. Of course. Otherwise, would I dare to bring it out? Long Chen smiled. Here, to the friendship between the human race and the tree demon race, the elder drank it and was instantly filled with praise. This is truly good wine. Haha, <laughs> this is Long Chen suddenly shut his mouth. What is it? Asked the elder curiously. Nothing. Long Chen waved his hand. Maybe I drank too quickly. I feel a bit off. Long Chen's face began to grow pale. His aura also started to fluctuate chaotically. Do you feel like your bones are rotting? The elder's smile grew twisted and sinister. You, you poisoned me. Long Chen cried out in shock. Ha ha ha, I didn't do anything. Any air of an immortal Daoist vanished. The elder's face was now like a crafty old fox. As for the maids behind him, they transformed, becoming malevolent fiends. You poisoned the wine, demanded Long Chen. Ha ha ha, wrong. The wine isn't poisoned nor is the fruit. But if you drink the wine after eating these fruits, well sorry, but it's toxic to your human race. Do you feel like your bones are being stabbed? Do you feel your soul being pierced? Even having your blood flow within your body should be painful. The elder slowly rose. How despicable. Didn't you say that the human race is your benefactor? Cursed Long Chen. It was a bastard from your human race that made me fall to this place. I wish I could slaughter your entire race. The elder suddenly roared furiously. If it weren't for that bastard destroying my true body, my Yuan spirit wouldn't have been forced to struggle on death's door within this tiny world. This is all because of your human race. You, little fellow, seem to have a strong body. You're perfect for fertilizer. With you, I should be able to break through the last step and rebuild my true body. The elder laughed. The giant tree behind him shivered, and countless tentacles fell from the tree, every one of them very slender. They were like hair, and there were tiny mouths at the end of them like the mouth perts of mosquitoes. You came at the perfect time. I was just lacking a little bit of blood chi to rebuild my body, and you came right to my front door. It seems that this is the cycle of karma. A bastard from the human race destroyed my physical body, and now another human came to rebuild my body. The old man began to form hand seals. Hm, the elder's expression suddenly changed. A black mark appeared on his forehead. It quickly spread until it covered his entire body. This is. The elder suddenly found that he couldn't move his body. You wanted to poison an alchemist? Your brains must be made of wood. The kneeling and pale Long Chen slowly rose, chortling. The fiendish tree demons immediately surrounded him. What did you do? Demanded the elder. I did what you did to me, said Long Chen with a bright, mischievous smile. The wine was poisoned. No, this wine truly came from the wine god palace. I would never poison the wine from the wine god palace, or the high priest would look down on me. If you want to see the poison, look down, said Long Chen. At some point, the soil beneath their feet had turned black. None of the tree demons had noticed. Just as your focus was on making sure to poison me, I gave you my own gift. How do you like my surprise? Is it a nice one? Asked Long Chen. Boom. The earth suddenly exploded. The elder vanished. And the ancient tree shook. Sending Long Chen and the black soil flying into the sky. At the same time, countless roots exploded. Any of the roots touching the black soil were ejected from the main body. This bit of poison is useless against me. The elder's row rang out from the giant tree. Not necessarily. After all, this black soil is not ordinary. I extracted its essence and had it invade your soul already, said Long Chen nonchalantly. Having reached the third step of Nether Passage and gaining control of death energy, Long Chen had gained a deeper understanding and control over the black soil. That was why he had been able to hide its aura and poison this giant tree. He had sent its law of annihilation into the tree demon's soul. This poison can't touch me. Life energy vibrated from within the tree. Every one of its leaves began to shine brightly. You want to disperse the poison and slowly grind it out? It's a good idea, but it won't work. Long Chen sneered, forming hand seals. 
Black spears began to condense in the sky. Chapter 2454 Heavenly Kill and Demon Tree Translator Born to be the black spears were condensed from the black soil in Long Chen's primal chaos space. As he wasn't an earth cultivator, in theory, he shouldn't be able to do such a thing. But upon reaching the third step of Nether Passage and gaining control of death energy, he was able to imitate the techniques of earth cultivators through the black soil's particular energy. These earthen spears were not tough at all. They smashed into the tree's divine light barrier and were blasted apart. However, they left behind patches of dark air. It was like the very void was being infected by black particles. It could be said that Long Chen had finally reached the level of being able to unleash the power of the black soil. At this moment, the other tree demons launched their attacks at Long Chen. Wooden thorns and whistling vines fell upon him from every direction. Long Chen snorted and clapped his hands together. The space behind him exploded, unleashing a torrent of black soil upon this world. The tree demons screamed upon contact with the black soil. The nearby trees quickly withered and died. Stop! Stop! The ancient tree cried out in fear. The endless black soil finally made it feel fear. Long Chen stopped pouring out more of the black soil. He had formed a small mountain of it behind him. The tree demons that had attacked him had turned to dust. Only the ancient tree was able to endure. Long Chen asked, What is it? Is it time to negotiate? The old man appeared once more, but this time he had black specks all over his body. Having silently fallen for Long Chen's trap, he was unable to force away Long Chen's death energy. Although it could be said that his life energy had reached an almost limitless level, the power of the black soil restrained him. If he allowed it to continue, he would slowly be killed. Now when he looked at Long Chen, his expression was extremely ugly. Clenching his teeth, he demanded, What do you want? I want all the precious medicines in this place. I don't want much. Just one of each. I'm not a greedy person, said Long Chen. Fine. This demand was acceptable to the elder. Other than that, I want your heavenly killin' demon fruit, said Long Chen with an evil smile impossible. That is the concentration of my life's cultivation base. Don't even think about it, raged the elder. He suddenly realized. So you knew who I was from the start. He, the heavenly killin' demon tree is an ancient species said to have gone extinct in the era of myths. How could I not know? If Long Chen hadn't realized who it was, how could he have known that this elder's act was not sincere at all? It was precisely because Long Chen had figured out that it was a heavenly killin demon fruit that he was sure he could handle it. There was a recording of the heavenly killin demon tree within the pill sovereign memories. Its fruit was a 13th tier medicinal ingredient. The fruit itself contained its own spirituality, one that would make any spirit pills refined from it craftier, but not more brutal. This kind of spirit pill was the kind that alchemists had to be on guard against as they often acted gentle only to trick them. They were more aware of a human's weaknesses and would take advantage of an opening to flee or even devour the alchemist. This was the nature of the fruit, which stemmed from the tree. This kind of demonic tree was infamous in the age of myths. Its act of being friends with the human race was all nonsense. Furthermore, when Long Chen tested it by asking it about the battle from back then, it didn't avoid answering it. That was when Long Chen was sure it was a con. This was a question he had previously asked the life spirit god, but it hadn't answered, only saying that the karma was not something that he could endure, since the life spirit god didn't dare to mention it. While this elder was casually talking about it while drinking, it was clear that there was a problem with the wine. That was why Long Chen had intentionally used an extremely ancient form of drinking etiquette, covering up his actions with his sleeves. He hadn't drunk the wine but simply pulled it into the primal chaos space. To avoid exposing himself, he even acted like it wasn't good wine and compared it to the wine god palace's wine. That was to draw the elder's attention while he silently drew out the black soil whose aura he had suppressed. Now he had an absolute advantage, and so he directly extorted the heavenly killin demon tree for its medicines and fruit. Long Chen didn't say anything in regard to the elder's rejection. He just stared at him. Being stared at by Long Chen, the elder's hair stood on end. He clenched his teeth and extended a hand. A peach-like fruit appeared in his hand. However, it was covered in dense scales. Here, 
You can go now. This fruit is equivalent to a thousand years of my cultivation. Long Chen received it with a smile. The legendary heavenly killing demon fruit. He, this is something good. Long Chen put it away and then kept staring at the heavenly killing demon fruit. Once more, he didn't say anything and simply stared. You, what do you want? Don't go too far, raged the elder. No, I never go too far, said Long Chen. Then why aren't you leaving? You can go pick one of every medicine in the forest and scram, said the elder coldly. It seems that only a single heavenly killing demon fruit isn't very useful to me, said Long Chen, seemingly embarrassed. How many do you want? Long Chen rubbed his hands bashfully. I'm not greedy. I naturally only want as many as there are. You, you, die. The heavenly killing demon tree went crazy. Countless branches pierced toward Long Chen like sharp blades so quickly that he didn't have time to summon the black soil. Its goal was clearly to kill Long Chen in an instant before he could do anything else. A pill furnace appeared around Long Chen, and all those powerful branches struck it. However, Long Chen still coughed up a mouthful of blood. This full power attack from the heavenly killing demon tree was so powerful that even with the demon moon furnace protecting him, a portion of it transmitted through and struck him. It felt like he was being struck by countless whips. Long Chen was enraged. As expected, legends couldn't be counted upon. Wasn't it said that while the heavenly killing demon trees were very crafty, their guts were very small? He had thought that the black soil would be enough to intimidate it into not attacking. Fortunately, the demon moon furnace was still able to block the branches. This heavenly killing demon tree was incredibly powerful. Even though it wasn't a fighting type of tree demon, it was still in existence above the nether passage realm. I gave you face but you didn't give me any. Huo Linger, incinerated. Long Chen directly gave the order for Huo Linger to come out. The demon moon furnace's runes lit up, and flames gushed out. Flame runes soared out of the demon moon furnace, and a wave of heat startled the heavenly killing demon tree. Its branches were instantly set ablaze and being rapidly burned up. When it tried to suppress the flames, it was horrified to find that they could not be extinguished. Not only that, but the flames were also sucking up its vitality. Horrified, the heavenly killing demon tree cut off its own branches and retreated. Those flames terrified it. With the branches retreating, the demon moon furnace's lid popped open. Flames roared out in the form of a giant flame dragon. Runes fell from the leaves of the heavenly killing demon tree isolating it from the flames. They formed a giant wall. The heavenly killing demon tree was enormous, and the giant flame dragon appeared minuscule in comparison. However, when the flame dragon struck the leaves, they were instantly incinerated, turning to ash in less than a breath's time. Rumbling rang out and black soil poured out of the void. Death Chi filled the air. Stop! Stop! cried out the heavenly killing demon tree. Why should I? You didn't give me any face. The last time I stopped, you were secretly accumulating power to kill me. If I don't teach you a lesson, who's to say that you won't do the same thing? Raged Long Chen. The black soil quickly filled up this entire island. The heavenly killing demon tree was surrounded by it, and its bright leaves began to show black splotches. With it blocking the flame dragon's attacks and the black soil's invasion, it was starting to find it hard to keep up. Stop. I'll give you the heavenly killing demon fruit. If you keep attacking, it'll harm my source, and I'll need to use them to make up for it instead, shouted the heavenly killing demon tree in a panic. It was finally afraid. The flame dragon was attacking from above, while the black soil was invading from below. If this continued, he would only be able to last until all his heavenly killing demon fruit were used up. Long Chen finally stopped pouring out more black soil and had Huo Linger stop. However, he remained ready. Hand over all of your fruit. If I think you're holding back on me, I'll kill you, demanded Long Chen. Chapter 2455 The Miserable Heavenly Killin' Demon Fruit Translator Born to be with the threat of the flame dragon and the black soil, the heavenly killin' demon tree finally submitted. Heavenly killing demon fruit fell from the giant tree one after another. With every single one, its aura clearly weakened a bit. When it had said that every single one of these fruits were equivalent to a thousand years of its cultivation, it had been exaggerating slightly. However, 
the loss of even one of them was as painful as if a piece of it was being torn out. There were over 800 heavenly kill and demon fruit. Once they were all taken out, the entire tree lost its luster as if it was on the verge of death. You can let me off now. The heavenly kill and demon tree's voice was a bit hoarse. Long Chen waved his hand, pulling the black soil into the primal chaos space. He also recalled Huo Linger. Why bother? I'm a very nice person. Have your subordinates bring out all the precious medicines here. Are you going to force me to do it myself? Asked Long Chen. The old man of the heavenly kill and demon tree had now turned black. The invasion of the black soil's death chi had reached a critical point. With its heavenly kill and demon fruit taken away, erasing this death chi would probably take a long time. The elder helplessly gave the order for other tree demons to gather all the precious medicines in this forest. These medicines were easy to recognize for them. That was because they were used as nourishment for the tree demons. These medicines absorbed the spiritual chi of heaven and earth which aided in their own cultivation. Fortunately, Long Chen only asked for one of each. If he asked for them all, that would be taking all their food, and they would fight him to the end. Dao Heart Sword Orchid. A treasure jewel grass. Seven leaf sky south star. Ha ha ha. These are all good things. Long Chen couldn't help laughing as he received the medicines. They were all incredibly valuable. With over 10 being 13th tier medicinal ingredients. He could also use those precious ingredients to refine 12th tier medicinal ingredients. That would greatly boost their quality. He gained over 300 priceless medicinal ingredients half of which did not exist on the martial heaven continent. Long Chen's medicinal field was about to grow again. Old man, don't cry. To tell the truth, for you to want to kill me and me to not kill you is already an exceptional favor. I now have just one question I want an answer to, said Long Chen to the heavenly kill and tree demon that was glaring at him hatefully. What demanded the heavenly kill and demon tree icily? I'm curious. Why is there a dead branch on your crown? The aura on it feels a bit similar to me. Long Chen pointed to one of the trees. That place was where the main trunk of the heavenly kill and demon tree took a sudden turn. It was like it had been cut in two, with one half being broken away. It was the result of a bastard from your human race, roared the heavenly kill and demon tree furiously. It was your damn human race that destroyed my true body in that battle back then. I had no choice but to transform into a seed and undergo nirvanic rebirth in my own minor world. But that minor world was also destroyed, leaving behind only this one core fragment. It fell in this godforsaken place. I was only able to slowly recover by absorbing the spiritual chi of the surroundings. After tens of thousands of years, my body was ready to return to its true form. And then that bastard came. He not only took all my heavenly kill and demon fruit. He cut off one of my yin and yang branches, causing a huge imbalance in my body that took years and years to recover from. Now I was preparing to reform my true body again, and a bastard like you came. The work of tens of thousands of years has been ruined by you. Your human race is all full of bastards. Don't be so emotional. Do you know that person's name? Asked Long Chen. Of course I remember. He called himself Ching Shu and told me to remember it. The heavenly kill and demon tree grit its teeth. Long Chen nodded inside. As expected, it had been a sovereign. No wonder the aura was so familiar. It was a bit similar to Sovereign Ching Su's sovereign seal. Sovereign Ching Shu had actually also come here to pluck the fruit. Long Chen sighed. A sovereign really was a sovereign. A wound left by one of them remained after all this time, with his aura still being present. He, you really are unlucky. My guess is that the same thing happened that time. You wanted to absorb the life energy of a powerful expert to help you in your final step. So Sovereign Ching Shu taught you a little lesson. Snickered Long Chen. The heavenly kill and demon tree snorted and didn't reply. Clearly Long Chen was right that it had been the one to provoke the sovereign. Resulting in having to pay such a painful price. Long Chen was shocked that a sovereign possessed such power. Not only had he cut off part of the heavenly kill and demon tree's trunk, that wound hadn't healed even after tens of thousands of years. When comparing himself, he wouldn't have been able to challenge the heavenly kill and demon tree without the black soil and Huo Linger. Long Chen thought of Sovereign Moli's last words. Last time, he had let him cheat and pass. 
but that would increase the karma for next time. If he didn't keep working hard, he really would die to his next heavenly tribulation. You can go now. This place does not welcome your human race, said the heavenly Killin demon tree coldly. What is there at the bottom of the marsh? asked Long Chen. A group of lazy and gluttonous mudfish. As long as you don't attack them, they won't bother you, replied the heavenly Killin demon tree impatiently. It seemed that he wanted him to scram so that it could recover. Long Chen nodded. He didn't have anything else to say. This fellow probably wished to never see a human again. Having obtained over 800 heavenly kill and demon fruit and so many new medicinal ingredients, he had greatly profited. He was in a good mood as he passed through the forest again. The tree demons didn't dare to attack him. When he reached the edge of the marsh again, he looked back to see that the forest had closed behind him. He was no longer able to see the giant tree. This island was very strange. The surrounding space made it impossible for him to estimate just how big it was. He didn't overthink it. He took out the bronze bar and slowly floated off. Everything was calm. It was only once he left the mist that he sensed something wrong. He could feel the marsh trembling. Ripples appeared on the surface of the water. Suddenly, something below the water surged out, sending Long Chen soaring into the sky. Long Chen looked down to see an enormous figure that made his scalp turn numb. A beast above Nether Passage. It was a drake-like beast but it had no scales or horns, or even eyes. It just had a giant mouth. Hand over the heavenly kill and demon fruit and I'll spare your life. The huge monster actually spoke human words. Its voice was icy without any emotion. Fuck. That damn heavenly kill and demon tree is conning me. Long Chen instantly realized that this huge monster was what he had sensed down below. But the heavenly kill and demon tree had just said it was a group of mudfish. This monster also knew about the heavenly kill and demon fruit. Clearly the tree had informed it. Fuck. I curse you to have someone steal your heavenly kill and demon fruit the next time they mature as well. Long Chen cursed. Hand over the heavenly kill and demon fruit. Boom. Long Chen was once more thrown into the sky. The huge monster repeated itself. Fuck. This is bullying. Even if I'm not a sovereign. Idiots like you can't bully me. Raged Long Chen. A mudfish monster actually dared to bully him. This was intolerable. Since you want to die, I'll help you out. The monster didn't feel any misjivings about Long Chen's words. It opened its mouth, and the entire marsh heaved. Its tail suddenly whipped out of the water and at him. Boom. Unable to dodge in the air, he could only block. As a result, he was knocked into the marsh. With no land anywhere, he caused a massive explosion within the marsh. The dragon blood warriors heard the disturbance. Boss has been blocked by a monster. The mist had been scattered by the monster, allowing them to clearly see what was happening. What do we do? The water is toxic, and there's no way to fly. Boom. A figure charged into the sky. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon at the monster's head. Its body instantly sank beneath the marsh, unleashing a wave of mud. Long Chen's attack was only able to force it back. He managed to leave a mark on its head, but no blood came out. His attack clearly wasn't enough to cause any damage to it. The monster roared. Its body spun within the marsh, and a giant arrow suddenly shot towards Long Chen. The demon moon furnace appeared, pulling Long Chen inside. They were instantly sent flying into the sky by its attack. Long Chen coughed up three mouthfuls of blood inside the demon moon furnace, feeling like a star had just smashed into him. The demon moon furnace was only able to block a portion of the impact, while the rest of it had to be endured by Long Chen. Long Chen's body was now covered in cracks. The mudfish monster was a 13th rank beast. In its own territory, Long Chen was almost killed. Suddenly, the demon moon furnace lit up, and it stayed suspended in the sky. Big brother Long Chen, we've escaped the domain of the marsh, exclaimed Ling'er. We're out? Good then we'll give it a vicious blow. Long Chen appeared on top of the demon moon furnace. He raised his hand, a cluster of flames appearing. Chapter 2456 7 Star World Extermination Translator Born to be flames rose in the form of a lotus, growing larger and larger. Long Chen began to chant the Nirvana scripture, causing flame runes to fly out of thin air and enter the flame lotus. With each second, the flame lotus crazily grew. 
and a particular rune on each petal lit up, forming a star. After that, the stars changed, becoming two, and then two became three. Every time a new star appeared, the world would shudder. By the time the flame lotus reached its peak size, every petal had seven stars on top of it, and the surrounding void was distorted by the heat. An invisible destructive energy caused the world to shake. The laws of the heavenly deos were whining. This flame lotus possessed the power to destroy the entire world. Compared to the giant flame lotus, Long Chen himself appeared as tiny as an ant. His hand shuddered, and blood dripped down his arm. This is the limit? Huo Linger has yet to fully control her power, and the burden to my own body has increased as a result. But this is enough. Long Chen slowly released his flame lotus. It slowly fell down, but as it did, it fluctuated, clearly unstable. Long Chen grew nervous upon seeing that. Huo Linger's current power was so immense that if it exploded here, he would be blasted apart by his own technique. He carefully controlled the flame lotus, sending it toward the giant mudfish monster. The fierce mudfish monster shivered and suddenly dove beneath the marsh. I feel like we should all back up. Boss is angry, suggested one of the Dragonblood warriors. Everyone else immediately nodded and ran further away. World Extermination Flame Lotus. Long Chen's hand seal suddenly changed. The Flame Lotus stopped swiveling and then smashed straight down with a horrifying rumbling. Even before it touched the marsh, the marsh became distorted. The mudfish monster was instantly exposed. The marsh was unable to protect it as the World Extermination Flame Lotus fell. The nine petals had seven stars each, a total of 63 stars. They all detonated, and that was like 63 star falls exploding. The instant that it exploded, color faded from the world. Light turned dark. For a moment, everyone felt like they had lost their sense of vision. When their vision recovered, they saw a fragmented scene. Fragments of spastime were in the wrong place. The world that they were seeing was in chaos. Within that chaos, they could barely see a figure falling from the sky, and then they heard the sound of a sharp blade piercing flesh. In the next moment, the world returned to its normal state. Their vision cleared, allowing them to see a giant hole in the marsh. A giant blade was stabbed through the mudfish monster's head. It was still twitching, but that was its deathbed struggles. Long Chen stood at up Evil Moon's hilt, staring coldly at the mudfish that he had skewered. This image stunned everyone. It was only after a long time that someone let out a cheer, breaking people out of their stupor. The mudfish finally became motionless. This terrifying monster was something above the nether passage realm and had been able to survive the world extermination flame lotus, albeit just barely. However, after the explosion, it had not been far from death. A follow-up attack from Evil Moon was enough to end its life. The Seven Star World Extermination Flame Lotus is my current limit. It used up 80% of my spiritual yuan. Even if Huo Linger was in full control of her own power, there's no way I could use such an attack twice. Sighed Long Chen. The World Extermination Flame Lotus's power had even frightened him. The only reason the mudfish monster hadn't died instantly was because the marsh had helped block part of its power. Huo Linger's advancement has caused the world extermination flame lotus's power to grow as well. Once Huo Linger is in full control of her power, it will be time to perfect this attack. Long Chen clenched his fists proudly. This technique was something that he had made himself, and was his strongest attack. Long Chen then sucked the corpse into the primal chaos space. Although its entire body could be considered a priceless treasure, its flesh was now badly chaired. There was no way to make snack a skin armor from it. Its meat would definitely be the greatest gift to Wild. It also had a crystal core, but it was a very rarely seen dark attribute core that he currently didn't have a use for. Long Chen looked back toward the island at the center of the marsh. The image of an immortal wonderland had been shattered. The entire island was chaired and covered in mud. As for the giant tree, its leaves had been incinerated, and some of the smaller branches were gone. Con me and you end up conning yourself. You deserve it, snorted Long Chen. He had thought about going over to cause more trouble for the heavenly Killin demon tree, but he decided against it. Sovereign Ching Shu hadn't killed it even though it had tried to kill him. Most likely, there was some deeper meaning to this. Hmm? Sovereign Yun Shang was capable of seeing the future. 
Is this heavenly killing demon tree some kind of opportunity that Sovereign Ching Shu left for me? Long Chen suddenly thought of a possibility. Fine. I'll let it go this time and leave this opportunity to the next person. Long Chen finally decided not to kill it. The mud and water slowly flowed back into the marsh, and the laws of space and time that he had shattered were slowly repairing. If he still didn't leave, the laws of the marsh would return and make it so that he couldn't fly. Taking advantage of the broken laws, he hastily flew out of the marsh. When he returned, the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples and the Xuan beasts cheered. They were filled with even greater reverence for him. Although there was no way for them to estimate just how powerful the mudfish was, based on its aura, it was definitely an existence above Nether Passage. Long Chen had managed to even slay such an existence. He was incredibly powerful, enough to inspire them and give them confidence. Boss, were there any gains? Asked one Dragonblood warrior excitedly. There was an island at the center of the swamp where I gained some precious medicines. Since none of you can really use them, I'll be taking them for myself. However, there is something that everyone can use. Long Chen took out a heavenly killing demon fruit. People stared at it, befuddled. They had no idea what this scaled fruit was. Could it be? Is this a heavenly killing demon fruit from the time of myths? Asked one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples suddenly. Haha, <laughs> amazing. You recognized it. Long Chen gave this disciple a thumbs up. He hadn't expected someone to really know of it. If it hadn't been for the Pill Sovereign memories, even he wouldn't have recognized it. He had never seen a recording of the Heavenly Kill and Demon Fruit within the records of the Martial Heaven Alliance. If someone knew of it, they had to have seen it within some ancient, fragmented texts. It really is a Heavenly Kill and Demon Fruit. It is said that eating it can allow someone to immediately ascend and become a god or immortal. Cried out that disciple. Long Chen's praising expression vanished. He shook his head. All right, it seems you've listened to too many stories. That's nonsense. This heavenly killing demon fruit has a huge amount of life essence within it of a divine nature. That divine nature allows it to extend a person's longevity. Even someone on the verge of dying will fully recover with just a drop of its juice. However, that's not the main thing. The main thing is that due to how long they've been mature, They've absorbed the laws of the heavenly deos. If a cultivator consumes one, their comprehension of the heavenly deos will soar. It will make your future path much clearer. For us, it can greatly increase our chances of advancing to the fourth step of Nether Passage. Not only that, it will make the bottleneck above that much easier to break through. Everyone was delighted to hear this, but they quickly grew disappointed. There were so many of them and only one heavenly kill and demon fruit. They wouldn't get a chance to have it. Haha, <laughs> don't be disappointed. I gained a total of 867 fruits. The Dragonblood Legion won't be taking a portion. If we split it, each person can have three drops of its juice. Just one drop should be enough for yourselves. So you can sell the rest to others, said Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, we can't do that. If you hadn't come, we probably wouldn't have obtained any. A person can't be greedy. Just one drop would be more than enough for us. The rest should be left to your Dragonblood Legion, said one disciple immediately. That's right. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen don't get all weepy on me. Hurry and divide them up. We have to hurry on, said Long Chen, tossing the heavenly kill and demon fruit to the Dragonblood warriors to extract the juice and split up. The Dragonblood warriors quickly squeezed out the juices. But the fruit pits were kept by Long Chen. He, this is the real good thing. Long Chen smiled and tossed the pits into the primal chaos space. Chapter 2457 Guo Ran's Luck Translator Born to be when the fruit pits fell into the soil of the primal chaos space, they quickly began to germinate. Tender sprouts grew out of the ground. Long Chen focused the primal chaos space's energy on one of the sprouts. After an incense stick's worth of time, it became a tiny sapling. Unlike other saplings, it only had three leaves. Without any further urging from Long Chen, it began to automatically absorb the life energy of the primal chaos space. Even after concentrating the full power of the primal chaos space onto just one sapling, the growth rate is so slow. As expected, the heavenly kill and demon tree's life energy is astonishing. 
just a single sapling contained about the same amount of life energy as a fully grown world tree. All right, I choose you. Long Chen made his decision. He would grow a forest of these trees to replace the world trees. Long Chen planted only 300 of the fruit pits for now. The rest, he kept aside. He didn't want them competing with each other for energy. And he also had a use for the fruit pits. He was planning on using them for alchemy. Then their effect would be far greater than the juice. Now he had a use for the sea demon corpses from last time. He tossed them into the black soil. And life energy filled the primal chaos space. After a couple of hours, the tens of thousands of sea demon corpses had been devoured and the heavenly kiln demon trees reached a height of 30 meters. At this point, they began to branch out. Two branches at the top continued to grow. The runes on those branches were different, with Long Chen recognizing one as Yun and the other as Yang. Now he understood what the heavenly kiln demon tree had said about having one of its Yun and Yang branches cut off. Long Chen sensed the amount of life energy within these 300 saplings. Their total life energy was already about half of the total of the world trees. That was a shocking amount. Once they were fully matured, they could offer him an extraordinary amount of life energy. However, without any more corpses to devour, their growth almost came to a complete stop. Long Chen estimated that without any fertilizer, these trees would take several thousand years to fully mature. Long Chen thought about tossing in the mudfish's corpse, but he decided against it. The growth of these trees would not be a matter of one or two days, so he shouldn't rush it. The juice was already divided amongst everyone, and there were still 2,000 drops left. Long Chen gave those to the group that had first noticed the marsh, leaving it up to themselves on how to split it. Their newfound profit filled every one of them with excitement, especially the Xuan beasts. The juice of the heavenly kiln demon fruit was even more effective on them, with no side effects. Has anyone received word from the other squads? Asked Long Chen. All of them are currently gathering or going in the direction that you indicated, reported one of the Dragonblood warriors. It seems that opportunities aren't so easy to run into. We've all benefited from the first squad. Long Chen smiled at the group that had noticed the marsh. We're the ones benefiting. Without you we wouldn't have obtained this opportunity either, responded one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. Not bad, this sucking up ability is refreshing, joked Long Chen, causing everyone to laugh. The lack of aloof arrogance from Long Chen made them all feel like he was easy to get close to. This was a rare charisma that they admired. Long Chen looked at the compass and said, let's go to our target destination. We have to gather with the other squads. Half a day later, they met another group. Boss. Ha ha ha. Take a look at my new steed. This new group was composed of three squads led by Guo Ran and Xia Chen. Guo Ran called out to Long Chen excitedly. Boss Guo Ran. Where did you get a chick? Asked one of the Dragonblood warriors. Are you blind? Is this just a chick? This is a legendary ancient beast. The Nine Wind Blood Phoenix. It can reach the 13th rank when it is fully matured said Guo Ran in an extremely pleased manner. A 13th rank beast. Everyone was startled. This steed that looked like nothing more than a giant baby chicken didn't strike as such an existence. Boss Guo Ran. How did you get it? Of course I relied on my own power to kill two 13th rank beasts. There were two chicks. So me and Xia Chen split them. Xia Chen. Don't just stand there. Show them your divine steed as well. Said Guo Ran. Xia Chen waved his hand. Oh, it's sleeping. So I don't want to disturb it. Compared to Guo Ran's flashy style, Xia Chen was far more reserved. You killed two 13th rank beasts? Is that really true? Even boss only managed to slay a single one. What? Boss, you killed a 13th rank beast. Cried out Guo Ran in shock. Boss Guo Ran, what are you so shocked about? You said that you killed two of them. Were you just bragging? Cough. Are you joking? Am I such a braggart? Just ask any one of these brothers. They all personally saw it. Furthermore, the best proof is the corpses in Xia Chen's astral space, snorted Guo Ran. An experienced disciple from the Martial Heaven Alliance said, This truly is the Nine Wing Blood Phoenix. There are nine folds beneath its wings that will sprout nine differently colored feathers when it is fully mature, and that will make it look like it has nine pairs of wings. 
Congratulations senior apprentice brother Guo ran on obtaining such a terrifying steed. Ha ha ha. Finally someone with vision. However, you don't need to be discouraged. As long as you continue to do good things and accumulate karma, you can also be blessed by the heavens just like me. Laughed Guo Ran. Xia Chen shook his head and summoned the two corpses. When they appeared, everyone jumped. The aura of these two beasts was horrifying despite merely being corpses. Boss, these are the corpses of two 13th rank beasts. I've taken the crystal cores, so you can see if you need anything from them. If not, we can just give them to Wild, said Xia Chen. Once everyone retreated, they got a good look at the beasts. One was a muticolored phoenix, while the other was a two-headed lion. The two corpses were covered in wounds. The lion was almost cut in two, while the phoenix had several bloody holes in it. Guo Ran hastily put away his steed. He said, Ah, I may have overstated it just now. These two beasts were fighting each other and had killed each other by the time we arrived. The nine-wing blood phoenix was probably a bit stronger, but to protect its young, it was struck by a sneak attack. To tell the truth, the reason I was able to obtain this mighty steed is all thanks to boss. Long Chen put away the corpses and asked, Thanks to me? Why? It's thanks to you giving me the karmic luck reward from the devil slaughter rankings. My luck is now amazing. We encountered a spirit lake at first and then a vein of immortal gold with even source chi at the bottom that we absorbed. Then I ran into these two beasts fighting each other, easily obtaining two corpses and two young nine wing blood phoenixes. However, it wasn't perfect. There were originally three, but the lion ate one, said Guo Ran regretfully. Everyone stared at him. Dumbstruck. How was Guo Ran's luck so heaven defying? He hadn't encountered any dangers and had instead run into one treasure after another? Even Long Chen was stunned. If Guo Ran's luck was so heaven defying, why hadn't it manifested itself before now? Long Chen suddenly wondered if it was because his own bad luck had covered up Guo Ran's good luck. Long Chen sighed inside. He had fought with both his mind and body against the heavenly Killin demon tree and then killed the mudfish monster before obtaining his treasures. But Guo Ran had just picked his up. This luck was definitely heaven defying. Guo Ran, you should lead the way for everyone, said Long Chen. What about you? asked Guo Ran. Me? It's better for me to go my own way, said Long Chen. After giving a few more instructions, he left on his own. Chapter 2458 Dangerous Scheme Translator Born to be Long Chen left on his own, speeding off toward his previous target. The Dragonblood Warriors had essentially finished forming up, with each group having at least five squads. In each of those groups were at least two people on the level of captains, so they should be safe. Now, Long Chen was setting off on his own because he didn't sense any supreme experts. Guo Ran's luck had given him a reminder. His bad luck would cover up other people's good luck. By leaving them, their chances of running into treasure should increase a bit. Several days later, Long Chen arrived at his target area. The scene he saw before him made his heart shake. This was a giant spring. There were two mountain ranges on both sides of it, looking like an eye from above. The spring had black and white mist revolving on top of it, looking like a giant Taiji symbol. The white mist was full of vitality, while the black mist was full of death. They were blending together, yet still separate. When he descended from the sky, he found that the spring had its own laws. While it wasn't so big looking from above, when he got close, he found that it was practically limitless. This spring seemed to fill the entire world. He didn't know if he had shrunk or if it had grown. There is actually a place within this world that manifests the cycle of life and death. The divine families actually didn't share this secret with us. Long Chen couldn't help growing enraged upon sensing the power of this spring. The Long family hadn't told him about this. But the corrupt path and the ancient family alliance's disciples had both been aware of it. Boss, the dragonblood warriors who had already arrived came over when they saw him. Was there a battle Long Chen saw they still had blood on them, and their auras were in a very lively state. It was dangerous. As soon as we arrived, corrupt experts attacked us. They had broken through to the fourth step. If the zither fairy hadn't interfered, we would have taken some heavy losses, said the squad leader. Zi Yan, Long Chen sensed the surroundings. 
There did seem to be some mystical energy remaining in the air that belonged to Zi Yan. Where is she? The zither fairy immediately rushed off after helping us resolve the ambush. It seemed that she was in a hurry. Boss, we were late. Everyone else who entered the Starfield Divine World rushed straight here. The corrupt path left behind 2,000 of their disciples to ambush us. With them being in the fourth step and controlling Samzara power, we would have been at a disadvantage without the zither fairy, said another squad leader. Upon reaching the fourth step, the Samzara power of a nether passage expert would not just increase their power, but it would also form a cycle that gave them limitless power. With the Dragonblood warriors still in the third step, they were unable to hold them back. In the brief ambush, 10,000 disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance had died. The Corrupt Path and the Ancient Family Alliance knew about this. Only the Sea Demon race seems to be like us. What is the Yi family playing at? Long Chen sank into thought. He had killed the six horned sea serpents left and right arms but hadn't found any information about this life and death spring in their soul fragments. Could it be that the Yi family was using the sea demon race to slow him down? Were they being used to stall the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples? After being one step behind, they would only fall further and further behind. One of the groups has been attacked. Suddenly, the compasses let off a warning sound. However, the warning then stopped a short while later. It was a little sneak attack, not enough to shake the entire group. The other side fled. The report quickly came from the group that had been attacked. Have all the groups remain vigilant and rush straight here. There's no need to search for more treasures, ordered Long Chen. They had been schemed against. The Dragonblood Legion was now forced into a very passive position, with many others having broken through to the fourth step due to this spring. They were at an immense disadvantage. More groups arrived. One of them was led by Yu Zifeng and Gu Yang. They brought a squad of the Xuan Beasts and the four squads of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. The others also arrived quickly. Seeing everyone was safe and sound, they sighed in relief. Just as they had been approaching this area, all their groups had been attacked by small groups of experts. Those experts came from the Ancient Family Alliance and the Corrupt Path. They were only in groups of one or two thousand, but they had all broken through to the fourth step. Meng Chi and the others were strong enough to force them to flee, but not before they killed a few people. The ordinary disciples were too weak compared to them. Meng Chi and the others naturally couldn't chase them down for fear of an ambush. They could only raise their vigilance and press onward. They faced quite a few sneak attacks from them again, and they did manage to slay a few of them before they fled. But the continuous attacks were infuriating. Against so many fourth step Nether Passage experts, even Meng Chi and the others were unable to fully stop them. After all, they were in control of Samzara power. Their combined power was immense. Their continuous sneak attacks had been so enraging that Gu Yang had almost chased after them. But Yu Zifeng had pulled him back. These bastards are all hateful. Tang Wan'er stamped her foot furiously. Long Chen consoled everyone. We've fallen for their scheme. By being broken into pieces. Our enemies have managed to grasp an opening. They knew that we would need some time to gather back together after entering. Adding in some sneak attacks forced us to be even more cautious. With the sea demon race in particular giving us even more pressure. Their whole plan was to stall us while they arrived here and broke through before us. But if they've managed to advance. Why not stand guard over this place to stop us from coming? Asked Meng Chi. The Corrupt Path and the Ancient Family Alliance had a full million experts inside the Starfield Divine World at the moment, with the Martial Heaven Alliance and the Xuan Beasts only outnumbering them by a tiny amount. One million fourth step Nether Passage experts was more than enough to crush one million and a hundred thousand third step Nether Passage experts. It's not so simple. The Divine Families are using the Corrupt Path and the Ancient Family Alliance. But the Corrupt Path and the Ancient Family Alliance aren't going to be used for nothing. The Starfield Divine World is full of treasures. Their main force has definitely moved on to the next place. Estimated Long Chen. Then we're the last ones here. Rage Gu Yang. We should be second to last. There are also the idiots from the Sea Demon Race. Let's just hurry and make our advancements here. This life and death spring has a white area representing life energy and a black area representing death energy. To enter the fourth step, 
the first thing is to balance your life and death energy. After that, you can step into the core of the spring. That is where the life and death energy is the strongest. We've already been thrown behind. So we have to catch up, said Long Chen. Everyone quickly entered the spring. They went to the life area because they were currently lacking life energy in the death realm. The Xuan beasts joined in as well. This life and death energy was crucial to their advancement. Although their realms were different, they still needed the life and death energy. Wild, your brother Long has brought you some good stuff. As everyone entered the spring, only Wild stayed outside. Long Chen took out the corpses of three 13th rank beasts, delighting Wild. These corpses were so tough that even divine items couldn't pierce them. Wild's teeth were tougher than divine items, but even he was having some trouble eating them. He had to tear off pieces of flesh and chew for a long time before swallowing. It's delicious. Brother Long, you're great. Wild excitedly hugged Long Chen. In truth, Wild didn't know anything about taste. It was delicious to him only because the flesh was so strong. Seeing Wild eating the flesh of 13th rank beasts made Long Chen feel a chill. Wild had truly grown terrifying. I'm glad you like it. I'll find some more for you in the future. But you should put these away for now. Ration them while you stand watch. If anyone tries to disturb us, kill them, said Long Chen. All right, go train. Leave things here to me. Wild patted his chest confidently but his hand was still bloody from his eating, leaving an imprint. Long Chen nodded and entered the spring as well. He began to absorb the life energy. Just at that moment, a group of people came rushing over. Rays of divine light pierced through the air toward the spring. Courting death, Long Chen furiously shot up. These people were intentionally causing a ruckus so that they couldn't focus on cultivation. Chapter 2459 Crisis Descends with everyone in the life and death spring. They couldn't dodge. It was unknown what origins this spring had. But after entering, their bodies naturally entered a cultivation state. They would have to leave in order to enter a combat-ready state. By the time they charged out of the spring, their attackers had fled. They seemed to have transportation discs on them that brought them away as soon as they fled. Bastards. Raged Gu Yang. The only way for them to effectively cultivate here was to enter a state of forgetting everything else. It would take far longer now since they were furious after being attacked. How hateful. They're slowing us down while they go in search of treasures. Said Tang Wanur. Cloud. Why don't you guard this place? Kill anyone who approaches. Said Meng Chi. With cloud speed, those people would be killed as soon as they got close. No need, said Xia Chen. They have transportation talismans that will make speed useless. Guo Ran and I can set up a formation to kill them. I'll need 3,000 people to help me. Xia Chen and Guo Ran set off with 3,000 Dragonblood warriors to set up a formation. Long Chen ordered everyone not to fall for it. They had to calm down and use this place to advance to the fourth step. Xia Chen and Guo Ran got to work, but halfway through their setup, another batch of disciples from the ancient family alliance attacked. However, as soon as they appeared, a batch of bombs that Guo Ran had set up exploded, blasting them to pieces. Following the explosions were some poison arrows. Even those in control of life and death energy couldn't ignore that poison. That batch of sneak attackers were blocked and only managed to launch a few attacks from a great distance before fleeing. But still, quite a few people were disturbed from their cultivation state, flames of anger surging in their eyes. On the other hand, Long Chen was already in his cultivation state, his divine ring open behind him, the life energy poured into him. Several attacks were aimed at Long Chen, but Men Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and the others blocked it for him. They had decided to stand guard over Long Chen so that he could advance first. As Long Chen absorbed the life energy, he tried to bring some of the spring water into the primal chaos space, but he was disappointed to find that once it exited this world, the spring water's energy completely vanished. His thought of bringing the entire spring away with him was extinguished. He could only focus on cultivating. Others were absorbing it slowly, but he was sucking the life energy in crazily. Suddenly, blinding rays of light lit up from the distance. Runic swords pierced through the air, slaughtering a new batch of sneak attackers. Xia Chen's formation was complete. He was standing guard. 
not even giving the sneak attackers an opportunity to attack. Several more attempts occurred, leaving behind batches of corpses on the ground. Just as it seemed that the ancient family alliance's disciples had given up, corrupt experts came charging at the barrier recklessly, using their own comrades' lives as shields. They managed to tear an opening within Shia Chen's formation and charge in. These corrupt experts were practically crazy. They launched a few attacks, and seeing that they couldn't escape, they decided to kill themselves in self-detonations. Fuck. Another 3,000 warriors get over here. We'll kill these bastards. Raged Guo Ran. These experts that had reached the fourth step were too powerful. They needed more people if they wanted to keep them out. At the same time as he was infuriated, he was shocked. If the corrupt path and the ancient family alliance had left their main forces here, they would probably have been wiped out. Another 3,000 Dragonblood warriors joined in. Xia Chen clenched his teeth and took out even more formation discs. In the end, the formation became a solid shield that blocked over 10 further attempts at breaking through. Suddenly, the spring began to shake. Countless bubbles began to float out of it. It was like it was boiling. Boss has balanced his life and death energy. He's ready to break through. A vertical line appeared within Long Chen's divine ring. On the left side it was black, and on the right side it was white. Neither side was able to enter the other. This was a manifestation of reaching a balanced state of life and death energy. However, for others, this kind of phenomenon would occur within their heavenly Tao manifestations. But since Long Chen wasn't an Empyrean, it occurred within his divine ring. At this moment, Yu Zifeng, Yi Zhikyu, Chu Yao, Song Mingyuan, and the others also began to enter this state. Long Chen, don't even think about reaching the Samsara realm in this lifetime. Suddenly, the sky fractured. A bloody spear instantly pierced through Xia Chen's formation. Heaven and earth rumbled. Tian Zizi, Long Chen's heart sank. This scheme was well planned. The heavenly genius of the corrupt path, Tian Zizi, had actually appeared here. After reaching the Samsara realm, Tian Zizi's manifestation was no longer the slightest bit unclear. There was a giant divine statue of crystal clarity within his manifestation. Divine energy came from his manifestation, infecting the rest of the world. Even the laws of the world were affected. His manifestation its fully awakened exclaimed Meng Chi. Tian Zizi's aura was completely different from before. His manifestation had changed at its source. It was no longer illusory but real. The statue within his manifestation felt like a god. A feeling of inferiority and insignificance infected people's wills. Long Chen, did you think that we would allow you to advance to the fourth step just like this? How naive. We were unable to break the laws of the yin-yang spirit spring, but we won't be allowing you to take advantage of it. All of you will die today. Are you prepared? Asked Tian Zizi disdainfully. He was just like a god looking down on them. Long Chen exited his cultivation state. As his body slowly rose in the air, Evil Moon appeared in his hand and scales were covering his entire body. You actually gave up your chance to search for treasures to disturb me. Disturb you. Tian Zizi suddenly laughed as if he had heard the world's funniest joke. Long Chen. I didn't think that you were so stupid. Do you not realize what kind of situation you are in? Tian Zizi's spear suddenly twisted toward Long Chen. Although it was just a casual flick of his wrist, Long Chen's expression changed. He was forced back several steps. Tian Zizi laughed. Ha ha ha. Now do you understand? In this state where your yin and yang are completely balanced, your own life energy and death energy are countering each other. In this state, you are unable to achieve Samsara. Your current power has now dropped to less than 80%. What are you going to use to fight me now? Boss, Guo Ran and the others all started. They didn't know about this problem. With Long Chen weakened and Tian Zizi having advanced to the fourth step, a huge difference had been created between them. Long Chen smiled and indicated for everyone not to worry. Looking at Tian Zizi, he said, Call out that fellow from your corrupt path. You alone are unable to kill me. Tian Zizi sneered. He raised his blood spear. Long Chen, you're too conceited. I have awoken my manifestation. Corrupt king overlooks the heavens. Killing you is simple. The instant he stated the name of his manifestation, 
The statue behind him quivered and breathed out a wave of evil air. In that instant, he seemed to be a disciple of a god, a representative whose will came from their god. Ha ha ha. Long Chen also laughed, his laugh full of disdain. If you really had that ability, you wouldn't have been hiding like a dog here waiting for me to balance my life and death energy, right? Tian Zizi's expression sank. It was true. He had been hoping to have a real fight with Long Chen. He wanted to use his power to beat him and wipe away his previous humiliation. However, a certain person refused to allow him to do that, forcing him to wait until Long Chen was weakened. Tian Zizi was infuriated, but he couldn't retort. What is it? It seems you feel aggrieved. Don't tell me that the arrogant Tian Zizi that once swept through the world has now become someone's dog, said Long Chen lightly, seemingly seeing through Tian Zizi's inner heart. Fuck off. Tian Zizi furiously stabbed his spear. It was like the fang of a fiend, containing a powerful curse as it stabbed toward Long Chen. A sharp sound made people clap their hands over their ears. Right off the bat. Tian Zizi had used one of his sharpest killing blows. Chapter 2460 God Reincarnation You're the one who's going to die. Long Chen sneered. He slashed Devil Moon three times, creating three saber images in front of him that merged together. However, even this triple defense was unable to stop Tian Zizi's attack. With this manifestation, Tian Zizi was backed by the power of a god. With your current power, you're just an ant in front of me. I'll return the humiliation you gave me tenfold. Tian Zizi roared. Thinking of all that had happened between the two of them, he suddenly dove toward Long Chen like a hawk. Boom. Long Chen slashed Devil Moon, only to be sent flying by a simple kick from Tian Zizi. Do you see? This is the difference between us now. Even if you weren't weakened, I could still crush you like a fly. I've stepped into the Samsara realm. So the cycle of yin and yang will wear your power down until you have nothing else. What are you going to use to fight me? Tian Zizi arrogantly stood there, looking down on Long Chen, not seeming to be in a rush to kill him. Instead, he wanted to fully enjoy the sight of Long Chen's despair. No wonder. I knew I wasn't so weak. So stepping into the Samsara realm has such a benefit. Sighed Long Chen. Ants like you can't stop me. Today. I will end your legend. By cutting off your head, I will show the world that your legend is nothing more than a joke. Tian Zizi spread his hands. The blood spear slowly floated in his manifestation, and divine energy surged out of it, locking down Long Chen. Long Chen, do you know? I'm really angry that I have to kill someone as weak as you, stated Tian Zizi. Even if I kill you, it will clearly be a case of someone powerful bullying the weak. That's an insult to me. Divine energy poured into Tian Zizi's spear. It pointed toward Long Chen, rumbling with power. This was an attack that could destroy heaven and earth if it wished. But in the face of this terrifying attack, Long Chen smiled. He cocked his head at Tian Zizi. How amazing. Just what kind of status does that fellow have to make you feel so aggrieved? It's shocking. Tian Zizi's manifestation rumbled. As astral winds raged, Tian Zizi roared. You can't do anything even if I tell you. I'm just a divine son. Someone who is simply a servant of the god. But he is the reincarnation of the seventh generation corrupt god. He sealed himself for tens of thousands of years. He is a true god who will lead the corrupt path to its glory. Your righteous path will end in this era. This information shocked everyone. A reincarnation of a god? Wouldn't that be an unrivaled existence in this world? Bullshit. A god must ascend. That is in defiance of the laws. You're lying, shouted Xia Chen. Ha ha ha. Tian Zizi laughed crazily. You damn ants. Are you worth me lying to? The seventh generation corrupt god chose not to ascend and instead undergo nirvanic rebirth to become a different person. His ascension was an act to trick fools like you. He gave up his chance to become a god and instead reincarnated to start a new life. He isn't even a god now. He had to restart everything. Who would pay such a price? Demanded Xia Chen. The heights that a god could achieve were not things that people like them could imagine. But they all knew of the laws of the martial heaven continent. Anyone who reached that level would be forced to a higher plane. It was said that that plane was the undying world of gods and immortals. Even a god could not disobey the laws of the martial heaven continent. After ascending, 
they could not return. The seventh generation corrupt god had acted like he was ascending, only to secretly undergo nirvanic rebirth, that was in defiance of the heavens. By undergoing reincarnation, he would have to start from the beginning and could die at any moment. Just why would he pay such a price? It was to trick a sovereign. Right, said Long Chen. This statement startled people. How was that possible? There were no gods in the times of the sovereigns. The seventh generation corrupt god had existed before the sovereigns. Long Chen looked closely at Tian Zizi and saw his expression twitch. He smiled. The seventh generation corrupt god used his body as a seed to undergo reincarnation. But that requires going down the path of reincarnation. It is impossible to immediately be reborn without walking that path. After being reborn, he found himself in the same era as a sovereign, and not daring to compete with the sovereign, he chose to seal himself. He used the corrupt god cemetery to nourish himself, waiting for years until he could finally accumulate enough power to completely transform. Now that the chi flow of the world has changed, it is the best opportunity for him to come out. As for you, the person who should have been the leader of the corrupt path, you have been demoted to a mere side character. You can only listen to his orders like a dog. I feel sorry for you. Long Chen shook his head and sighed so dramatically. Hence, despite knowing that it was intentional, Tian Zizi couldn't help being infuriated. Shut your mouth. Tian Zizi was the heavenly genius of the corrupt path. Someone who had been sealed in his generation for years. The future of the corrupt path was supposed to belong to him. But now he had become a side character. He was filled with resentment. But there was nothing he could do about it. It doesn't matter who the leader of the corrupt path is. Your righteous path will still be wiped out. Master Yi Ming wanted me to only kill you. But now I've decided to kill all of you. Tian Zizi smiled as he looked at the dragon blood warriors. His manifestation suddenly shuddered. The power that he had been accumulating all this time blasted out toward the dragon blood warriors. The world's number one legion will be wiped out by my hands today. Rumbling rang out intermixed with Tian Zizi's crazed laughter. Brothers, bring out your true ability. Don't let others misjudge you. Long Chen's icy voice rang out. The dragon blood warriors had long since prepared themselves for battle. They all summoned their manifestations and the dragons within their manifestations roared furiously. Their power exploded like a volcano, pouring toward the front where Guo Ran was waiting with his crossed blades. Those blades lit up like blinding suns. Dragon blood cross slash. The dragon blood warrior's power surged toward Guo Ran. Guo Ran's armor had been modified an additional three times because the dragon blood warriors had grown increasingly powerful. If he didn't upgrade it, he wouldn't be able to endure taking in their terrifying power. Boom. The combined power of 12,000 dragon blood warriors smashed into Tian Zizi's spear. As a result, the sky was torn apart. Even the stars in the sky shuddered. Tian Zizi's spear was blown back, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. When he grabbed his spear, he coughed up another mouthful of blood and smashed into a distant mountain. He pierced straight through it and continued through the mountain range. This dragon blood cross slash was the only technique in this world capable of perfectly merging the power of over 12,000 experts into an attack capable of destroying heaven and earth. Nice. Guo Ran cried out excitedly. This attack was stronger than he had expected. Even Tian Zizi had been blown back. However, that joy was short-lived as Tian Zizi came flying out of the ground. His hair was a mess, and there was blood on his chest. That attack had been so powerful that despite circulating his Samsara power and grinding down its power, he was still injured. All right, I underestimated you. The combined power of a group of ants actually isn't bad. Since you want to resist, I'll break you one by one so you can all die painfully. Tian Zizi was charging over, not giving the dragon blood warriors a chance to accumulate power. This time, his bone spear was aiming to kill a portion of them in one go. Scram. A rough shout rang out, and a bone club smashed through the air. It was like a godly pestle. Wild had transformed into a giant blocking Tian Zizi's path. Scram. Tian Zizi furiously changed the target of his attack to Wild. His Samsara power erupting. Boom. The bone club smashed into the blood spear. Following the ear-piercing sound, Wild was knocked back several steps. As for Tian Zizi, 
his momentum was stopped, and his blood was flipping inside of him. He was infuriated. Corrupt king possession. Divine power shatters the heavens. The statue within Tian Zizi's manifestation suddenly split apart. Divine light bathed him, igniting his power. Die. The reason Tian Zizi was igniting his divine power was because he suddenly had a bad feeling. That mysterious man, Yi Ming, actually hadn't ordered him to kill Long Chen. His orders had been to disturb Long Chen and then run once it was done. However, how could a divine son like Tian Zizi stoop to such a lowly level? He wanted to kill all of them, so he ignored Yi Ming's orders. As the dragon blood cross slash and wild's power had far surpassed his expectations, the feeling of unease grew stronger. He didn't want to stall any longer. Suddenly, the void rumbled. A giant skeleton larger than a mountain appeared in front of Tian Zizi. It looked like the skeleton of a giant beast, but it was as if it was alive. It opened its mouth, and a giant wind blade spun out, breaking the limits of the void. 